Hotep Hotep, my name is Lord Yukiri Osai. I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology for, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light for some more you uh for some more uh light codes. Basically, right? If you want to tap into your if you want to tap into your genius gene, then you have to start listening to classical music. That's how you tap into your genius gene. You have to listen to classical music while you're reading. You have to listen to classical music while you're exercising. Listen, exercise is very important. It's the reason why you need to get some you need to get some earbuds. You need to get you a Walkman or a CD player. And you need to start jogging every day. Jog listening to classical music or jog listening to a CD that's full of affirmations. Because if you're jogging and you're listening to a confidence affirmation CD. I am I am confident. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am a genius. I am a I am healthy. I am worthy. You listening to that while you jogging. Exercise rewires your brain. That's why you you see people exercising. You're not fat. Listen, you're not fat because of the food that you eat. You're fat because of the company that you keep. That's why you fat. It has nothing to do with 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 um the food that you eat because you got people who can eat the same amount of food or overeat you and never get fat. You're fat because it's biological. It's biological. That's why you fat. The company that you're keeping is keeping you fat. You got to get away from the company and get into the company of somebody else. Listen, Weight Watchers, all of them, the big esoteric secret behind all of that shit is that you can eat everything that you eat. You just got to you got to change your environment, change the cafes, change the, the delis, change the change the stores that you shop at and then change where you hang out at. That's the whole key, getting you in the environment of people who's working out. That's the key. Just to get you in the environment, going to the gym, just to get you in that environment. You will start losing weight just going to the gym. Why do you think fat people get jobs at at at, uh, at the gym? They starting to get jobs at the gym. And then after they get the job at the gym, they start losing weight. Still eating the same shit, but they're losing weight. Why? Because they're in a biological company of people who are actually exercising. It's not what you eat or how much you eat. It's the company that you keep that's keeping you fat. Association brings about similarities. If you associate with people who excessively use profanity and sag their pants, then eventually you're going to start excessively using profanity and sagging their pants. If you associate with rich people, you're going to be rich. You're going to think rich. You're going to become rich. If you associate with fat people, lazy people and shit like that, you're going to be fat and lazy. Association brings about similarities. You associate with people who do drugs, you're going to do drugs. So listen, you find that when you change your company and you start hanging out with other people, that, that, that you lose the weight automatically and you're still eating the same shit. But you're just losing the weight. It's not what you eat. It's not how you eat what you eat. It's not how much you eat what you eat. It's the company that you keep that's keeping you fat. Same shit. If you want to come into your genius gene, listen. Everyone who is a genius does the same thing. They relatively do the same things. They're real big on omega. They're real big on omega threes, omega omega nine, omega three. They're real big on blue green algae. You need to get those 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 supplements. Blue green algae, omega three fatty acids. Fish oil, you need to get that shit. Maca root, you need to get those supplements. Start listening to classical music. Why? Because when you start listening to classical music, it unlocks other dimensions in your brain. That's the reason why rich people and, and genius people listen to classical music. It has nothing to do with just, oh, I just want to be different. It, it stimulates the mind. It stimulates neuro systems. It's the systems in your cognitive system. It stimulates your mind. You have to start listening to classical music. Listen, people who are rich, they really, I mean, genius, they relatively do the same things. They they think fast, they speak fast, they think fast, they speak fast, and they act fast right now. My teacher said that we have to think fast, speak fast, and move fast right down to the modern day times. Right now, we have to start thinking fast, speaking fast, and moving fast. That's what accelerates you. That accelerates your mind. As your mind starts thinking more, you become more of a genius. You start memorizing things more. Your m muscle memory becomes more strong, more effective, more rapid. You're able to regurgitate information way faster. 
You move fast, you think fast, you speak fast, right down to the modern day times. That's how you tap into your genius gene. Listening to Beethoven, listening to um, listening to different classical music, that's how you tap into your genius gene. And you stimulate it with fatty acids, amino acids. Stimulate it with maca root, blue-green algae, you know what I'm saying? Omega, Omega-3s, Omega-9s. That's how you stimulate it. That's how you stimulate it. That's how you become. That's how you get your shit together. That's how you get yourself together. And another thing I wanted to share with you. Because I gave you some esoteric secrets on the me composition book. I told you. I gave you. Oh, shit. Oh, did you see that? I gave you some esoteric knowledge on the me composition books. I told you that you are a me composition book. You, you are a me composition book. You were a thought. You listen, your physical composition was thought of before you even came here. Your physical composition was thought of before you even came here. That's why thoughts are physical. When you write something down in the composition book, listen, it's going to come to pass. Thoughts are physical. I start recently writing down sentences. That's why that's why when you in school, when you when you when you do something out of line in school at an early age, they make you they make you write sentences. They make you I will I will not such and such and such. I will not such and such and such. You using the seven eyes. The seven eyes is how you manifest things. I can, I will, I do, I feel. I see, I think, I know, I am, those, those seven eyes, that's how you instantly manifest things with the seven eyes, I am flying, I can fly, I do fly, I willfully fly, I feel that I am flying, I know that I am flying, why, because I can fly. That's how you 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 manifest things. You manifest things by using your seven eyes. Your seven eyes is how you manifest things. And you write it down in 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 a composition book. Get you a mead composition book, a regular composition book. And listen, I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna even give you some more secrets. Cause I'm a firm believer that everyone has a right to see and everyone has a right to know. These pages right here, these yellow pages, the yellow ones. They got the recycle, that recycles simple right there. It's important that you start writing on these tablets. These tablets right here will allow you to manifest things real fast too. You know what I'm saying? Doctors writing these tablets and these kind of books. You know what I'm saying? And then get you one of those other kind of journals, the thick kind of journal. And then listen, you might not believe me, but if you write in blood, if you cut yourself right here and you write in blood, then it's automatically gonna happen. Whatever you write in blood, it will automatically happen. If you cut yourself right here, because this deals with your 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 uh um, your your lifeline, your headline, and your heart line. These lines right here. When you cut yourself right here, this deals with Mercury. This these deals with different planets too. This is Mercury right here. This right here is Mercury. When you cut yourself right here. You're tapping into your original lifeline. And if you write something in the journal with blood, if you cut yourself, cut yourself in your hand right here, cut yourself and the blood come out, tap the blood. All right, tap the blood and write it in the journal. As you're writing it in the journal, it's actually going to happen right then and there. You can save somebody's life like that by writing in the journal. Everything is dealing with science. This shit has nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying? No hocus pocus ass religion shit. This is real. It has nothing to do with religion. The whole Bible is is they took Moorish science, science from the Moors, and trapped that esoteric science and esoteric secrets in the Bible. But listen, at, at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, I believe everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's really going on. So I'm sharing this with you because I love you. Listen, it's a reason why people write journals. 
People write journals. It's not the way they tell. They're telling lies to your vision. When you watch TV and they talking about how people write journals, they write about their day and shit. Man, that's bullshit. That's not what's going on with these journals. That's not what a journal is about. You write what you want your day to be like. You write, you sit there and you actually pin your whole day. You actually pin your whole day. I told you, all those who made the shift in consciousness, all those who made the shift in consciousness, you know what I'm saying? I told you, we're not low local. We're, no, we're not on the defense no more. We're on the offense. We're on the offense. We're not on the defense no more. We're on the offense. I gave you that, that the science already. Yesterday, this is what I wrote. I wrote in my journal, right? I said, I will go outside and experience incredible bursts of energy. I will go to the to this, this place and write my name on the list. I won't have to stay long at all. No one will have an issue with me. I will banish some demons and feel powerful and energetic. I will go to the Awakening Cafe and meet some very interesting beings there. A woman will be very interested in my charm and my strikingly handsome looks. She will approach me and we will take and we would talk about a, a lot of wonderful things. She will be my soulmate and will will love, you know, and so on. That's personal right there. Then I, I even wrote and said that she will have a high self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? Um, she will be a vegan. She'll have a nice house with a garden. All kind of I wrote this shit down. I talked about how two Japanese women was gonna come up and compliment me. Listen, everything I said, I wrote it down in the contract form. Then I said, at, at the end, I said, at the end of it, I said, I am Lord Yukili Osai Anu Ra Elohim, and this is my proclamation, declaration, and decree. I seal this in the power of love and in great might. It is complete. Then I put signature. Then I put Lord Yukili Osai Anu Ra Elohim signed. Then I put print name. Then I put Lord Yukili Osai Anu Ra Elohim then I put date 7-30-2013, time 1-10 p.m. When I when I finished, when I came back from my day, I wrote and updated my journal. I said, so far everything has come true. I am truly, I I'm truly enjoying my new discovery. I came out of my house and have received superhero strength and lots of light codes. I'm very excited. I've banished the demons and now i'm optimistic in learning more about my other discoveries and predictions i'm keeping my eyes open are you hearing what i'm saying everything that i wrote down in my journal yesterday came to pass why because thoughts are physical the everything is a composition your thought your word everything is a composition your your human form is a composition you need to go get you a mead composition book. You are a mead composition composition book. When people get tattoos, they're getting tattoos. That shit is alive. Everything is alive. If you think something is dead, you need to change your way of thinking. Everything is alive. This chair is alive. This desk is alive. This picture is alive. Everything is alive. This cup is alive. Everything is alive. Everything is alive. Everything has rights. Everything is a composition. Everything is a thought. And everything in some kind of intricate way is tied in to source energy. I'm telling you the key. Get you a journal and write your shit out. Be proactive. Don't document shit that happened to you. Document shit that you want to happen for you. Document it. Document it. I am, and then look, this is another key. Speak those things to be not as if they were. That's the key right there. If you want a house with, with 16 bedrooms, write it down. My name is Anu. My name is Anu Ra Elohim, Lord. I am living in a 16-room mansion. Write that shit down. I have lots of lots of children. You know what I'm saying? Um, a supportive and loving family. Um, great career. You know what I'm saying? Um, lots of respect and prestige amongst, you know what I'm saying, the societies that I live in. Write this shit down. Write it down in your mean composition book as if you're already living in the mansion. That's how you write. 
You speak those things to be not as if they were. It may not appear as if you live in that house, but write it down. I'm telling you, that thought will become physical. That will become physical. Write down your I am. I am living in. You got to use your seven I ams. The seven I's. I am. I can. I feel. I do. I speak. I see. I know. Use that shit. Use your eyes. The eye of Ra, the eye of Ra, the sun, the eye is a representation of the sun. Use your eyes. Listen, you don't want to believe me? I can give you all kind of facts about how writing shit down becomes a reality. Listen, when you when you look at the rappers, the, the, the music artists, when Jay-Z first started his, his, his career, he was broke. But he rapped about having Ferraris and Jaguars and Lamborghinis. He rapped about the shit. And it became real. Now he has Ferraris, Jaguars, and Lamborghinis. He did the song. And the Ferrari, Jaguar, switching four lanes with the top drop, screaming out money and a thing. Now he's actually riding in that shit. Why? Because he spoke those things to be not as if they were. The whole thing about Hollywood is to make you believe that they have what they don't have. And if you believe it, when two or more are gathered, God is in the midst. Now the creator can create that. It's all about contracts. That's why I tell you, if you know how to master the contracts, you can master the universe. But you got to first master the contract. Write in your journal what you want. Speak it. If Jay-Z would have wrote about, I'm wishing I had of this and I'm wishing I had of that, he wouldn't have never had that shit. He was rapping, I'm, I'm in the Jaguar. I'm in the Ferrari. I'm in the Lamborghini. He was rapping about that shit. And that's why he had... He created the money that allowed him to be actually riding a Jaguar, actually riding a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. You got to speak those things to be not as if they were. You got to speak those things to be not as if they were. Also, they giving you esoteric kits all the time when they talk about diaries. Diary of a mad woman, a diary of Anne, the diary of this, the diary of that. All of that is diaries. Shit that's coming to pass. You need to create your own diary. Why do you think authors like Sidney Sheldon and, and, and James Baldwin? Listen, I'm going to tell you about uh, John Grissom. John Grissom was married. His wife was pregnant. They was pregnant. She was about to give birth to a child, right? She, um, he had just completed law school, passed the bar exam, got hired at a prestigious law firm, was climbing himself up the, the, the ladder, quit his job. He one day quit his job and said, I'm going to be a professional writer. He quit his job. He wrote his first book. He wrote his first book, The Client. Took off. Pelican Brief. Took off. The Firm. Took off. The Partner. Took off. This dude is a multi-millionaire. Secretly, he's a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Because he actually started using the esoteric knowledge of writing. Writing is important. Writing is very important. Writing, look, your words are alive. Every time you do a certain symbol, a certain everything, that shit is alive. That's why I'm finna start using Chinese characters. I'm finna start writing in Chinese characters in different ancient languages and ancient texts. I'm gonna start using ancient alphabets to write my shit down. Because if you write your shit down in ancient alphabets, it's going to happen even faster. It's going to happen even faster. It's going to happen even faster. Because at, when you actually write the symbol, you know what I'm saying? When you actually say life and you write in cursive life, you're forming life in cursive. You see that? You're actually forming something. That's, that's creating a vibrational frequency. Listen, everything in the universe is dealing with sounds and vibrations. This, there's a vibrational frequency of the L, the loop, the I, you know what I'm saying? The I, the F, the E, that's all vibrational frequency when you write down life and you dot the I. You, that's why they say, I'm making sure that I dot my I's and cross my T's. Everything is about writing shit down. Why do you think when you go to a hospital, they keep a journal around? Doctors and nurses walk around with a clipboard and a journal and shit. It's because it's all an illusion. Nothing that they're doing in that hospital was healing you. What's healing you is rest. When you rest, that's why they say get a lot of rest. That's what's healing you. When you go to sleep, 
When you resting, that's what's healing your body. And when people come visit you with flowers and, and kindness and smiling and shit, that's what's healing you. All that other shit that's going on, the, the machinery and all of that, that's all a con game. None of that shit, none of those machines, none of that shit is healing you in the hospital. None of that medicine is healing you. In fact, the medicine, that shit is a business. It's designed to keep you sick. It's designed to keep you coming back to their hospital. What heals you is when you go to sleep. That's why they tell you, get a lot of rest. Drink a lot of fluids. The water that they put inside of you, that's what heals you. That cleanses you out. They walk around with a notebook. They walk around with this shit. You need to start creating your life. Listen, when you went to school and you got in trouble and they made you write sentences. Remember you had to write sentences? I will not disobey my teacher. 50 times. I will not disobey my teacher 50 times. I will not yell out. I will raise my hand before I speak 50 times. Remember you had to write those sentences out when you was a little chip, a cat, a kid in school. Well, that was esoteric right there. They was letting you know what time it is. But they wouldn't let you know what time it is. You need to come back, get the discipline, and actually write sentences. Look, I've been writing sentences. I, I went and got the yellow piece of paper, right? The yellow piece of paper with the recycle on it. That's esoteric. That means that whatever you write on this piece of paper is going to come right back around. It got the recycle on it. That's esoteric. That's the secret right there. So I started writing. I said, my name is Anu, and I have hyperinduction. I can override the willpower of others. My name is Anu, and I have enhanced strength. My name is Anu, and I have Sith Synesthesia. I am able to enhance senses. My name is Anu, and I have Transduction. Transduction. I am able to see all electromagnetic wavelengths. My name is Anu and I have muscle memory, a rapid muscle memory. My name is Anu and I have the teleportation ability. My name is Anu and I have immortal. I have, hold on, my name is Anu and I am immortal and create endless indestructible lives. My name is Anu and I am immortal. I am immortal. That's one of the seven eyes. And I create endless indestructible lives bodies my name is anu and i am multi-dimensional my name is anu and i am a genius with a photographic memory my name is anu and i ha and i have the flight ability my name is anu and i have hyper injunction i can overpower the willpower of others i wrote that so many times on this piece of paper just that one thing so many times then i went back and said, my name is Anu, and I can, that's one of the I's, I can, I am, I do, I feel, I think, I know, I see, you know what I'm saying, I feel, those seven eyes is how you instantly manifest things, the eyes is your God particle, that's why they don't want you to be selfish, I let a motherfucker know in a minute, I'm selfish, yes, I am selfish, because I can't love you if I don't love me, my name is Anu and I can teleport. My name is Anu and I can teleport. My name is Anu and I can teleport. I wrote that so many times. Then I wrote, My name is Anu and I am immortal. And I have rapid healing and endless indestructible bodies. My name is Anu and I am, I am immortal. And I have rapid healing and endless indestructible bodies. You see how I'm speaking it? Even though it may not appear as if I'm speaking those things to be not as if they were like the Bible says. I'm speaking. I am immortal. And I have rapid healing in endless indestructible bodies. I'm letting you know that I have rapid healing in endless indestructible bodies. I'll let you know right then and there. Then I wrote that so many different times. Then you go back and you write. You know what I'm saying? I wrote synthesis. This whole thing is a synthesis. All kind of synthesis. Just like when you was a kid when they made you write synthesis. You got to take that formula and use that. Use that formula. I told you, go and get you a paper mate. Paper mate is the, is the pen that you need to be writing with. Paper mate. Why? Paper mate. Why paper mate? That's the brand of pens that you need to get. Paper mate pens. 
Paper make pins. You need to get fine point pins and ballpoint pins. Fine point pins is important to write with. And ballpoint pins are important to write with. It's a, but you want to get paper made. Paper made. Why? It's a mate of the paper. It's going to say paper made and it's going to have two hearts on top of each other. That's the esoteric secret. I'm trying to show you the way. There's not too many people out here that actually know the way to get back home. That actually know the way to get there. I'm one of those beings to know what restaurants to eat at. Which restaurants not to eat at. Which, which products to get out of the stores. Which... You know what I'm saying? What you need to be using to enhance those shit. I'm one of the, the last people on this planet that actually know the way. And I'm trying to share with you the way. The way to get the fuck up out of here. The way to get up out of Disney. Write in your journal, man. This ain't got shit to do with you documenting your day. That's bullshit. They lying to you on TV. That's bullshit. It's all about... It's all about... It's all about... Writing... What you want to happen. That's why John Grissom is a multi-millionaire. He quit his fucking job. Why? Because he came into the I knew. He came into the esoteric secrets about writing. So he quit that fucking slave job. And he actually started writing for himself. He started pinning his own life. All of his characters are, are, you know what I'm saying, variations of him and who he is. This is what I'm trying to share with you, people. Start writing your shit down. Write down your life. Why? Because you were a thought. You was written down. Somebody wrote you down on a piece of paper. Believe it or not, somebody wrote you down on a piece of paper. You are a physical composition from somebody else's shit. Nas wrote in one of his in one of his lyrics, right? He said, Ha shoot, I made you look. You a slave to the you a slave in the page of my rhyme book. Ha shoot, dealing with the wind, the shoe god. The wind god in the Egyptian system, Shu, was the name of the wind. That's why Ashu, Yashua, you know what I'm saying? That's where you get Yashua from. Yashua is taken from Yashua, who, which is the original name of the Christ, is, 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 is a combination of, well, I don't want to get into that science because I'm going to do a whole video on Christ consciousness and Jesus Christ soon. You know, when I can get my energy up and, and, and it's time for it, that video is going to come. You know, about Christ consciousness and the original name of, of gods, real gods and deities that we need to be working with and not worshiping, but working with. Because worship, whenever you worship somebody outside of your body, you give an energy to them. That shit can be evil. Fuck that. What are you getting in return? You got to be making deals with these gods. I will give you this energy in exchange for you giving me that. That's what it's all about. Making deals. All of that other shit. Fuck that shit. You a God. Your word is God. Start creating with your word. That's why I emphasize words. Words of power. Certain frequencies of words. I'm finna start bringing you into certain frequencies of words. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna start bringing you into certain frequencies. The vibrational frequencies of certain words. Because it's all about a point system. It's all about a point system. Believe it or not. It's all about a point system. It's all about a point system, believe it or not. And I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start bringing you in to these words of power, like way stronger. I've been giving you little hints here and there. I've been giving you little samples of shit here and there. But I'm really finna go in and just, you know what I'm saying? Give you the whole esoteric knowledge behind these words of power, dealing with vibrational frequencies. Dealing with vibrational frequencies. Like, like when people say awesome. Awesome. A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. The A is the number one. The W is the number five. The E is the number five. The S is the number one. The, the O is the number six. The M is the number four. The E is the number five. Awesome. That's It carries the vibrational frequency of the number 27. We use the word super. That's super. That the S is the number one. The U is the number three. The P is the number seven. The E is the number uh is the number five, and the P is the number nine. Add it all up, and you get the 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 the, the number the number the uh the vibrational number of twenty five. We use the word amazing. The A is the number one. The M is the number four. The A is the number one. The I is the number nine. The Z is the number eight. The I is the number nine. The N is the number five. 
the G is the number seven, you get the number, the vibrational frequency or the vibrational number of 44. 44. We use the word good. It's all good. It's all good. You're tapping into the, the vibrational frequency of 23. Why? Because the G is the number seven, the zero is the number six, the zero is the number six, and the D is the number four. That's good. That's good. That's a vibrational frequency of 23. When you use the word so. So what? So, so, and, so, so. All right. The S is the number one. The zero is the number seven. Vibrational frequency of seven. In hip hop, they use the word yo a lot. In some of my videos, I'd be like, yo, 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 yo. What's up? My name is Lord Yukiti Osai. I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries in Life for more information and light codes. I say, yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Why? Because I'm tapping into a certain frequency. Because yo, Y, O is the Y is the, is the, is the seven and the zero is the six. Put them together. You, that's the vibrational frequency of 13. That's the vibrational frequency of 13. That's why in hip hop they say, yo, what's up? Yo, 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 what's up? That's why in, in, in hip hop they always say, yo. They dealing with the 13, that vibrational frequency of 13. The yo, the why. I already gave you the esoteric secrets of why. I almost broke somebody's bones yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Because he tried to challenge me. And then I had to reflect on it and was like, well, he's weaker than me. I shouldn't do that. But he didn't even know what I was doing. He didn't even know about this esoteric shit like none of these beings down here is ready none of these people are ready for me i'm an extra i'm an ultra terrestrial being they're not ready for me but i want to give you some more secrets listen remember i told you about the why right remember i told you about the why the why is is esoteric that's dealing with that's a light code that's a light key from the melchium of uh, the melchium alphabet melchium alphabet the melchium alphabet that's a light key right there the why is dealing with Gamil, the Archangel Gamil. This this overbalance, this overcorrection, this overaction. That's why when Bruce Lee got ready to fight, he went like, whoa, whoa. He went like this. If you see that, if you look at the old Street Fighter, uh, 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 the video game Street Fighter, you see him dancing like this. If you look at some of the old like karate movies, like old kung fu movies, you see him get ready to fight like this. They warming up like this using the why. You know what I'm saying? This ain't got nothing to do with hang loose or hang 10. This ain't got nothing to do with none of that shit. And it, it, it has a number of purposes. This is also a unicorn, a unicorn's horn. This is also the horn of a unicorn. The unicorn has the power to yield immortality or to kill an immortal being. The unicorn also has the power to provoke sex, in a, uh, to create sex, a sexy si situation or to tap into organ energy. So it's multifunctional, but this Y is dealing with Gamil. That's a light key, dealing with the Malchim alphabet. So listen, look at the feet right here. This is this is what they're not showing. You know what I'm saying? In karate and, and kung fu and shit. When I was taking kung fu, I learned the pray mantis system. When I was taking taekwondo and shit, when I took ta ta uh, uh, kung fu, I learned the pray mantis system. When I started learning taekwondo, I started realizing what they was doing. They was using sigils. They was using sigils to, to bring in, to get more power to actually strike. And I was seeing that shit. Listen, I was having a conversation with dude. He didn't see me. But with my foot, see my foot right here? I took my foot right here and I started right there and I formed the Y. I brought it right here and I brought it behind me with my foot. That's why I was able to look at dude like, come on, bro, you can't mess with me. At that point, I was already embodied with with my Elohim. I was already embodied with an energy inside of my body that came from up there that would have destroyed dude, ripped him to parts. Why? Because I was using sigils that he wasn't ready for. And then I had to think about it and was like, look, you got to be merciful. You can't go and smash on people just because you can. You got to exercise discipline. You got to gotta be humble. So then I thought about it and was like, man, I got to go apologize to this dude. Even though I didn't have to. But at the same time, it was like, you know, why would you... Listen, I think that's some bully shit. If you feel like you got to walk around 
bullying people because you think you better than them. That's some pussy shit. I'm going to come after people like that. I, I'm not with that bitch shit. Don't hurt nobody just because you can hurt them. Don't do that shit. That's some that's some, some bully shit. Them motherfuckers, you're not going to make it too far in, this, in, the, in the universe like that. Because I'm coming after people like that. You know what I'm saying? But I had to be mindful. And actually, I didn't even start the situation, but I don't back down from challenges. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about nothing. No guns. No bazookas. I'll bring your best shit. I'm nuclear. Bring your best shit. I can fly. I can shapeshift. I can teleport. I can change densities and disappear. I can make my I can break down my physical composition and turn to water. I can come up like a big ass Scorpio. I can turn into a thousand Scorpios. I'm on some cosmic shit. I'm on some futuristic shit. I'm not even from this this world. That's the thing. I unlocked my reptilian DNA. I unlocked my Anunnaki DNA. I unlocked my gray alien DNA. I've unlocked my, you know what I'm saying? My um Stuni DNA. I've unlocked my Nordic DNA. I've unlocked all of these diff different DNAs. I've unlocked, you know what I'm saying? My my Anunnaki DNA. I've unlocked my Nephilim DNA. I'm stronger than the most motherfuckers around me. I just live a a, a a low profile life right now because I want to be able to teach people before I get ready to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because I believe everyone has a right to see your magnets. You see your magnets? Remember I gave you the esoteric secrets about these magnets right here? Yeah. Put the both magnets together. Listen, a magnet draws in all kind of information. It pulls, it gravitates, it brings everything into it. When you have two C's and you put them together, that's all kind of electro magnetic forces inside of that that's the sun the sun creates everything the sun is the most powerful generating force on earth in this cosmo in this universe minus the center of the milky way galaxy this also is a representation of the center of the milky way galaxy the two Listen, you don't think words is powerful? We keeping these motherfuckers alive. When you when you have a birthday court, listen, when you have a happy birthday court and somebody gives you a pen and you write a good note, you write a little note in the birthday court, have many more birthdays. You're going to live forever. Happy birthday, this and that. When you do that, guess what? Your, your words is what's keeping these motherfuckers alive. We keeping these motherfuckers alive. How dare them be ungrateful for our services? How dare them try to manipulate us? And you know how many people, how many birthdays I've attended and wrote shit down and kept them alive knowing that they was on the dark side? And then just because I'm light, they like, oh, like somebody told me the other day, you light, why do you do this? Why? Why are you like that? Hold on. Just because I'm like, don't mean, you know what I'm saying, that I'm finna let somebody walk all over me. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Love is not pain. And I don't turn the other cheek. I already told you, I'll kill you in a minute. I don't give a fuck who you are. You fuck with me, your ass better get ready to get seriously hurt. Because I got a right to defend my shit. And I got a right to defend my people. One thing they'll tell you about Scorpios is that we very overprotective. Very overprotective. I don't even have to know you. If I'm around you for five minutes, if you're in my company, and if I feel responsible for you, then listen, I'm going to take care of you. I don't give a fuck what kind of beef you got. All that shit going to stop when you in my presence. Because all that shit in my sphere of reality, I'm a zero tolerance person. I'm, I'm one of the most humblest persons that you are meeting. Your, I mean, one of the, I'm a zero tolerance being. I'm one of the most humblest beings that you will find on this planet right now. With the with the knowledge that I have, with the power that I have, the, the energy that's inside of my body, with the light coast that I've activated, with the DNA that I've activated inside of my body, I'm one of the most strongest beings on the planet Earth right now. Literally. Literally. Literally one of the most strongest beings on the planet Earth right now. I don't have no time for no bullshit. I'm, I come back to give you consciousness. Words of power. You know what I'm saying? Words of power. 
We use the word sure. Sure, yes, I'll do that for you, sure. The S is the one, the U is the three, the R is the nine, the E is the five. You get the vibrational frequency of eight. Eight in supreme mathematics means build and destroy, sure. When you say, huh, huh, like, huh, I didn't hear you, huh? That's the H-U-H. -H. The H is the eight, the numeral frequency of eight, the U is the three, and the H again is the eight. That's 19. That's the vibrational frequency of 19. Everything is dealing with numbers, vibrational frequency, sounds and vibrations in this universe. That's why I'm telling you, start incorporating these words of power in your sit in your speech. Inspirational. Why when you when you look at people like 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 um billionaires, people like 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 you know um known billionaires, Tyler Perry, you know what I'm saying, Oprah Winfrey. When you look at known billionaires, you look, just listen to how they speak. They use a lot of words with R's and I's. Ironic. Irony. You know what I'm saying? Inspirational. Important. Why are they using words with I's? Why? Because the I and the R carry the nine frequency. Those are high vibrational frequencies. Ironic. You take ironic. I-R-O-N-I-C. R is nine. I mean, I is nine. R is nine. Zero is six, N is five, I is nine, and the C is seven. I mean, the C is three. Mess them together, just that one little small word. Our ironic gets you the vibrational frequency of 19, I mean, 18. Which, when you calculate one and eight, it brings you back to nine, was born. People speak in these high vibrational frequencies. When you go to the store, and you just use words of power, then you can actually walk out with the groceries without even having to give them no money because the words of power equates to money. That's why when you have conversations, you're, you're coming in, every conversation is dealing with a contract. Every conversation is warfare. Every conversation is warfare. You gotta learn to get the best energy out of your conversation because the words that you use is like points. We like in the game, this matrix is like a game. These words are points. We use words like fantastic, which is the 33 frequency. Dude, dude, why are you doing that, dude? Which is the 16 frequency. Sure, which is the 8 frequency. Huh? Which is the 19 frequency. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Which is the 30 frequency. Words like this. 30. If you say come on, you get 30 points just for saying that. Every time you say wow. Wow, you get 16 points every time you say wow. How many how many times in the conversation can you say wow? You're getting 16 points every time you say wow. How many times can you say oh? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. I didn't even know that. Oh, oh, oh. How many different frequencies and vibrational frequencies and hertz can you say oh in? Oh, 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 oh. How many different intri intricate dynamical patterns can you use O in? Every time you say O, oh, you get 19 points. Um, um, every time you say um, you're getting seven points. Remarkable. That's a high vibrational word right there. That's 50 points. Every time you say remarkable in your sentence, in your in your in your in your in your conversation, you're getting 50 points. The R is 9, the E is 5, the M is 4, the A is, is 1, the R is 9, the K is 2, the A is 1, the B is 2, the L is 3, the E is 5. Remarkable. You get 50 points for using that word. Words with I's and words with, and with R's are the most high vibrational words. Find out what the words is and how you can incorporate those words in your system. Because R is 9 and I is 9. Tell you that's why you gotta start dotting your eyes and crossing your T's. This shit is esoteric, yo. This shit is esoteric. Fantastic. That's fantastic. That's a word of power. That's the 33 frequency. Hopefully, that's a word of power. That's the 46. That's the uh, 48 frequency. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's wonderful. That's an esoteric. That's a that's an esoteric frequency. That's the frequency of forty six. 
That's a high vibrational word right there to use. Wonderful. That's a high. How many times in your conversation can you say wonderful? That's wonderful. Wow, I think that. Wow, I think that's a wonderful idea. Why not? That's wonderful. Yes, that's very wonderful. Wow, that's wonderful. How many times can you say wonderful in your conversation? You need to be using words like this in your conversation. I'm giving you this for free. I can charge your ass like everybody else. I can set up a YouTube, you know what I'm saying, a dot com and just charge your ass. I can charge you for each word of power. Because every time you use these words of power, it's going to bring you immediate results. There's karma attached to these words. Every one of these words I gave you is karma attached to every one of these words. You see these numbers and frequencies and shit? This is science right here. It's karma attached to every one of these words. This shit ain't no fucking game. They don't spend... Money is a matrix. It's all about... Conversations. When you when people sit down next to you and they having conversations, they're basically trying for, to, trying to buy their meal with a conversation by using words of power. They're buying their meal. They're purchasing their meal with certain com certain words of power. If the more you pay attention to their conversation, the more they get energy, and that's why they get their meal for free. They're they're people, so they gotta buy their meal at the expense of your energy. We're Nephilims. We're beings. So we can go and get the shit for free. Without a, a big... It's not an issue for us. You see what I'm saying? So be mindful of this shit. When people be like, right on, man. Right on. Right on. That's a high vibrational... Just those two words. That's 46. That's the frequency of 46. How many times can you say right on in the conversation? Right. Right. Right on. How many times can you say that in the conversation? Lots of times. Lots of times. You can say it plenty of times. You can say it plenty of times. Respect. How many times can you say respect in the conversation? I really respect you. I respect that idea. I respect, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a, that's a nice shirt right there. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. How many times can you use respect? Every time you say respect, you're getting 32 points. This shit is like a game. You got to get the most points out of the conversation. When you converse with somebody, you got to get the most points out of the conversation. You got to have these words of power. You got to know these words of power. Certain words are interdimensional. All words are interdimensional. But certain words can place motherfuckers in a spell. Certain words can have a motherfucker go to sleep right there. Certain words can make a motherfucker wake up right there. Certain words can take a motherfucker into a whole realm. Certain words can put a motherfucker in a whole nother dimension of their brain. Certain words can make a motherfucker act like a little kid around you. You can say a certain word. I can tell you a certain word right now that'll bring out the baby inside of you. I can bring out the baby inside of you right now by using a certain word. Certain words can bring out the warrior inside of you. I can use a certain word. And bring out a worry, the warrior side of you. Certain words. Because it's dealing with dimensions of your brain. Different dimensions of your mind. These words are very interdimensional. They carry certain frequencies to tap into certain dimensions of your brain. So I'm going to do a video soon. Eventually when I can work it up to it. When I feel, you know what I'm saying, at this time. And I'm going to deal with fifth dimensional words. Fifth dimensional words. Words that, that when you come into the fifth dimension, these are the words that you need to incorporate in your conversation. I'm going to have a fifth dimensional words. I'm going to do fourth dimensional words, third dimensional words, fourth dimensional words, fifth dimensional words, sixth dimensional words. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do, I want to go all the way up to the, to the, to the, I want to go from one to 13. I want to go from one to 13 in dimensions. And dimensions. I want to go from 1 to 13. I want to go from 1 to 13. Oh, you was probably wondering what I did with my feet. Basically, I formed a Y with my feet in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Which allowed that was a light key. That was a that was a that was a um a Malchium alphabet key. And and me forming a Y with, with my feet in the ground allowed, you know what I'm saying? Gamil to embody me. So at that point, I was no longer human. 
I was not even Nephilim. At that point, I was Gamil. At that point, I was the actual Gamil. I can tell you how you can become Michael. You can do a sigil, a certain sigil on the ground, or do it with your hands, a certain sigil with your hands, and you and now your your human vessel is embodied by the Archangel Michael. By the Archangel Michael, which is the, the, the god of war, uh, a warrior angel. This shit is esoteric, man. You can just envision a certain sigil. You can envision a certain sigil coming to you. As soon as it comes to you, you're now, your vessel is now occupied by Zeus. That's why, man, you know, I, I really have to watch myself. I, I have to, when I talk, I don't really talk too loud. When I talk to people and shit, I don't want to, like, walk around, like, too hard and shit. I got to stay humble because I don't want to get the wrong impression. First, I don't want to give off an impression that I'm, like, mean or, or, you know, or, or like I'm a bully, cause I hate bullies. I'm not none of that shit. But if somebody stepped to me, I gotta address that shit. I'm gonna address it. You know what I'm saying? And if I can, and if, if we can resolve it without going all the way there, then that's even better. That's even better. You know what I'm saying? That's even better. You know what I'm saying? But at all means, I ain't, I ain't. You tell us, me, motherfucker. You better be ready. You better, you, 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 you really better be ready. Cause, Cause shit gets serious around here. It gets real serious around here. So listen, like I tell you, fast thinking, fast speaking, fast moving right down to the modern day times. Look at people who actually who actually are a uh, 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 genius. People who are geniuses, they think fast, they speak fast, they move fast. You gotta start moving fast. Move your body real fast. Get look, get you a walkman. Go get you a walkman or a CD player with the earbuds right or get you a voice recorder that you can put tapes in record your voice make affirmations for yourself i am beautiful i am wonderful i am powerful i am super strength you know what i'm saying say write that record in the voice recorder different affirmations i am healing i am a pool of healing you know what i'm saying i am strong-minded i am attractive i am a strong magnet and i will be attracting to my sphere of reality People who are genuinely in love with me. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract in my sphere of reality beings who love love me for me. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality, you know what I'm saying, beings who 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 uh who are high in vibrational, who are functional and high in vibration. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality. Wealth from known large sums of wealth from known and unknown sources. I attract it to me. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality. Wealth. Money. Large sums of wealth. Large sums of money from known and unknown sources. Speak it. Start speaking it. Your words are powerful. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And everything was created, was created with the word, and nothing that was created was created unless it was created with the word. First John 1 through 4 in the Bible. Go down to verse 13, verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst men, and we beheld his glory, him being the begotten son. Your word is physical. Your word will become flesh and dwell amongst men. Your word is God. You're God. And your word is God. Every time you speak, you got to believe that that's what it is. You got to believe that your seed is fertile enough to plant that. That your seed, when you speak it, your seed is fertile enough to manifest that. Words create. Words are powerful. Words are God. Everything was created in this multiverse. In this omniverse with a word. Everything. If you look in the, in the, in the beginning book of the Bible. Genesis, it tells you in the beginning, there was darkness and void, and the Spirit of the Lord was hovering around, and God spoke and said, let there be light, and there was light, and he seen that the light was, was good, and he separated the light from the darkness, and he called the light day, and the darkness night, and that was the first day, and God spoke and said, let us make a sky, let us put a, a firmament in the sky that would separate the waters from the heavens to the waters down there, that was the quarantine right there, 
when they put that firmament, firmament in the sky. That represents the quarantine. And God spoke and said, let us make trees. And God spoke and said, let us do this. And God spoke and said, let us make man in our image. Everything was created with a word. And God spoke and said, and God spoke and said, and God spoke and said, and then it was. That's why in 1 John, you know what I'm saying, verse 1 through 4 it says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was was God. Let's just talk about that right there. And the word was God. Your word is God, yo. Your word is God. Everything you say, you're speaking that shit into existence. That's a seed. Every one of your words, you're planting seeds into the universe. You have seeds that are fertile and you plant weeds. You can either plant seeds or you can plant weeds. If you plant a seed in somebody's life, it's going to sprout up. Or you can plant a weed in somebody's life that will choke the seed that's inside of them. Your words are fer fertile. Start placing, start speaking fertile Christ consciousness seeds in people's lives. This is the 33rd, the 333 message to my Elohim, to my soul group. Wake up and realize what's going on. Start using these words of power. Incorporate them in your conversations. Incorporate them in your daily habits and your daily routines. These words of power will save your life. Use your word. Your word is God. That's why the Elohim took Jeremiah in the Bible and took him to a plane where it was skeletons and bones all over the place. He said, the Elohim spoke and said, could these dry bones, could these bones be saved? He said, only you know, Lord. He said, speak to the dry bones and they'll be saved. And, 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 and the prophet began to speak to him. I'm talking about real skeletons with no flesh and blood. Real skeletons that was dead. And the prophet began to speak. And then the hip bone was connected to the leg bone. And the leg bone was connected to the foot bone. And the, and, the, and the toe bones was connected to the feet bone. And the wrist bone was connected to the arm bone. And the arm bone was connected to the shoulder. And the, you know what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers became alive again. That's the esoteric knowledge right there. That's the esoteric secret. To let you know that your words are fertile. Your words can give life and death. That's why in the book of John it says, life, I mean in the book of James it says, life and death is in the power of what? The life and death is in the power of your tongue. Your tongue. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You can speak life or you can speak death. So start speaking life to your shit and stop speaking death to your shit. Start speaking life to your situation and stop speaking death to your situation. Stop speaking that poor me shit. Oh, um, I'm ugly. I'm never going to get the man of my dreams. I'm never going to get the woman of my dreams. I'm fat. I'm never going to lose weight. I just don't have the energy to lose weight. Guess guess what? You're not. You're never going to get the man of your dreams. You're never going to get the woman of your dreams. You're always going to be fat and you're never going to lose weight. Why? Because words are physical and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst men. Your words are physical. Words create. Everything was created, was created with the word. And nothing was created unless it was created with the word. 1 John verse 4. Your word is God. So you're speaking death to whatever possibility that there is for you to meet the man of your dreams. Because your words created that. And your words are flesh. Your words are physical. Everything was created with a word. When you write down on a piece of paper a word, that's creating that. That's creating that. When you write down on a piece of paper a word, that's creating that. That's why I tell you, go get you a mead composition book. You are a mead composition book. You are a mead composition book. You were a thought that somebody wrote down in a composition. That's why you got a physical composition right now. You need to start being God and start pinning your life. Write that shit down. Look, these artists, 50 Cent and all of that shit, the motherfuckers, they're rhyme books. They're living in their rhyme books. Everything that they rap about is coming true. 50 Cent rapped about getting shot before he got shot. That shit happened to him. Because he rapped about the shit. And, it, and he attracted it. Why? Because it was in his book. It was in his rhyme book. He rapped about having super money. Now he got super money. Why? Because he rapped about the shit. He was broke as fuck when he was rapping about the shit. But he rapped about it. Speak those things to be not as if they were. You got to speak like you got money. 
You got to act like you got money. You got to do the shit to people that got money do. You got to place yourself in those environments. You got to actually go out to where rich people hang out. Get a membership at a country club. Go hang out with them just to get into that wave. Wake up early in the morning. Apply yourself. The early bird gets the worm. That's a true statement right there. The early bird gets the worm. Wake your ass up. Get on your fucking... Get on your hustle early in the morning. Exercise. Get you a walkman. Start jogging every day. Jog every day. Even if you jog for five minutes. Just for five minutes. Why? Because exercise rewires the brain. That's why I tell you. You got to change the mechanism that you use when you think. When you speak. When you... The mechanism. That's what got to change. It ain't... You got to change what you see, what you touch, what you taste, what you smell, and what you hear. You ain't got to change that. You, you ain't got to change what you view. You got to change the mechanism that you're using to view the shit that you're viewing. That's what got to change. You got to rewire the brain. You got to rewire your central processing unit. You got to rewire that. You got to rewire that. That's what got to change. It ain't the shit that you're watching, the shit that you're doing. The shit that you're speaking got to change. You got to change the way you perceive that shit. That got to change. The, the system that you're using. The whole neuro system. The whole cognitive system. The whole limbic system. All of that shit got to change. You got to rewire your mechanisms. And that's what that's what exercising is about. It's the reason why rich people jog every day. Why rich people swim. Why are they swimming? Why are they jogging? Why do they do this shit? Why do they exercise? What's the big deal? They rich. They can just fucking live a regular life like you live it. They ain't never got to exercise. They're doing it because it rewires the brain. That's why you walk around and you see people jogging and they got earphones on and shit. Guess what they listening to? They listen to Beethoven. They listen to classical music or they listening to some self-help shit. And, and, and affirmations. Confidence. The boost is their confidence. The boost is their self-esteem. They not fucking listening to low vibrational music like Jay-Z. They ain't listening to none of that low vibrational shit. They listening to shit to rewire their brain. And they're jogging. Why? Because exercise rewires your brain. I don't give a fuck what kind of exercise you're doing. You could do jumping jacks. Jumping jacks rewires your brain. The jumping jacks. Listen. This is what jumping jacks is. Jumping jacks is five. Jumping jacks is sacred geometry. This is the sacred geometry of the jumping jack right here. Look at all of the patterns and all of the shapes and formations you get from a jumping jack. You see that? That's what a jumping jack is. When your or when your arms go up like this, when your arms like the guy, when your arms go up like this and come down, that's sacred geometry. You rewiring your brain and you activating your merkaba. That's what that's all about. That's what that's all about. You see how his arms is going up? You see how his arms is going up in a jumping jack and coming back down? You're getting the whole... You're creating a magnetic field around you that's activating your macabre. You see the Star David that I talk about all the time? You see that Star David right here? This is what's happening when you jumping jacks. All of, You're getting your wings. You see the wings in the background? See the wings in the background? You see how he's tapped into force, to the energy force? You see all of that, the energy, the source energy around him, the source field right there? That's what jumping jacks do. Every jumping jack, every fucking exercise is a sacred geometry pattern that activates, that brings you into source energy, yin yang energy. Now that we're in a, the age of the Aquarius, we, we have the feminine energy. The feminine energy is back on the planet now. The feminine energy is back on the planet. You need to take advantage of that. You need to make the shift in consciousness. You need to start saying, I am Nephilim. I am a giant. Evoke that. Unlock that DNA inside of you. Make the shift. I, I am immortal. Come into that immortality paradigm. I'd rather say I'm immortal than to say that I'm going to die. Speak those things to be not as if they were. And listen, just like Carl Newton said. Where your attention goes, the energy flows. If you put more attention into the, the paradigm that you are immortal... The more energy goes into that paradigm, the more safe that paradigm becomes. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they are safe. Your safe haven is in the paradigms that you create for yourself. That's why you got to make the shift in consciousness. That's why all of that old shit don't work on me. All of that old shit that they was, con con 
what I'm saying? Architecturally designing, that shit don't work on me. It don't work on people who've already made the shift. All of they old songs and vibrations and all of that old shit, it don't work. Because we're not, we're not sacrificial sheeps no more. We're lying to Judah. We made that shift. We don't turn the other cheek. We, it's an eye for an eye. We made that shift. All that old shit that they got planned for motherfuckers like you with that mentality, there's a place for you. If you believe that you're a sacrificial sheep, if you ain't made the shift in consciousness like I warned you, then there's a place for you. It's called guillotines where they cut your fucking head off. We know how that story ends. We know how that game ends. It plays out like this. If you believe that you got to be a sheep led to the slaughter, then they're going to lead you to the slaughter to wrestle lions and shit. To get hung. To get your head cut off. We know how that shit play out. Your Bible tells you how that shit play out. Make this shift in consciousness. Christ had two attributes. He had the sacrificial lamb and he had the line of Judah consciousness. Listen, if you continue to operate off of that lower state of consciousness and you still keep your faith and your trust and your energy and your attention into the that old paradigm of the sacrificial lamb, then you're going to get caught up. Then when they come and collect motherfuckers, that's they got places for you. It's called FEMA camps and underground bunkers and shit. They got places for you to if you ain't made the shift in consciousness. You got to make the shift. And then don't take shit out of his proper contents. Christ being the sacrificial lamb didn't mean that he had to be led to the slaughter. That's why you got to rightfully divide the word of God in truth. And that's why you got to have a, a spiritual discernment. You got to be able to discern. And distinguishly discern the difference between this from the bullshit. The truth in the matter is that a sacrificial lamb, a lamb is blameless. A lamb is, is, is allegory. It's a, it's a metaphor, it's symbolic that represents, uh, uh, the lamb represents you being blameless, you being spotless, you being pure, you're being white, pure, innocent, virgin. That's what the lamb means. And the sacrificial lamb being Christ consciousness, rep it represents you being, you having to exercise discipline and self-restraint, refraining from doing the evilness of this world, partaking in some of the darkness of this world. Refraining from doing that in order to, to remain consecrated, in order to remain holy, in order to remain upright, in order to remain blameless, spotless, virgin, innocent, like the sacrificial lamb. It doesn't mean that you got to be led to the slaughterhouse to get your fucking head cut off or to, to wrestle a fucking lion. I talked to some bitch the other day. This punk ass bitch said, oh yeah, and we're Christians. And so we're the sacrificial lamb. They're going to lead us into the cages to wrestle lions and cut our heads off and hang us. I said, hold on, bitch. First of all, I'm not a Christian, so I'm not included in the we. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, just one moment. So I said, I'm not going to be included in the we. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be included in the we. And so I was, I was able to recognize that trap. She tried to place me in that paradigm. And I was able to recognize that trap. Um, yeah, I'm doing a video. I'm, I'm Skyping right now. As soon as I finish, I come down here. This this is important. So um, so I was able to recognize, you know what I'm saying, that trap. So I was like, you know, I'm first of all, I'm not a Christian, so I'm not gonna be led to no slaughter. And second of all, the esoteric secrets behind the sacrificial lamb doesn't mean that you have to be led to the slaughter. It just represents that you have to make sacrifices in order to stay holy, in order to remain consecrated, in order to remain righteous, in order to remain blameless. Because in your Bible, it says we live in this world, but we're not of this world. In your Bible, it says that we must learn to hate the things of this world. In your Bible, it says greater is he who is living in you than he is of this world. So you have to be mindful of these things, beloved. You can't allow the bullshit to get you caught up. You got to make the shift in consciousness. So if you're still thinking that you got to be led to the slaughter, then as I think, so, so, so shall I be. Everything is dealing with a composition. If, if, the, if, if the composition of your thoughts is in that old paradigm, if you ain't made the shift, then guess what? We know how that story ends. We know how that, that shit is going to play out. It's going to play out with you having to wrestle sheep. You getting your head cut off. You getting slaughtered. That's how that's going to play out. So you got to make the shift in consciousness. You got to stop saying you a sacrificial sheep. We already know that you, you, you exercise discipline, self-restraint. All of that was to, to sharpen your willpower. 
you need your willpower to be sharpened so that you can um you need your willpower to be sharpened so that you can manifest your willpower is how you manifest you got to will into existence the things that you created esoterically so your willpower in essence is your god particle it's your ability to simultaneously manifest that which you speak it's your ability to to allow your word which is esoteric to transcend until real time to be actually become physical to actually materialize into something that has mass matter that's what your willpower does your willpower is like your 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 ability to make that come to, to fruition to manifest that which you spoke or that which you thought so your willpower is important and so the first sacrificial sheep consciousness was all about getting you into a place where you can refrain from participating or partaking in the evilness of this world and in doing that it, it strengthened your emotions and your willpower is, is at the seat of your emotions and your emotions is what creates we tell you in science that there's that there's um, 18 different etheric gases that's responsible for creating everything in the universe right well you have those etheric gases inside of you every your feelings and your emotions are a representation of those etheric gases every time you pass gas you fart you burp you have an orgasm when you bust a net when you have an orgasm that's the highest form of energy my ancestors and my teachers teach sex I teach sex sex manifestation in fact that thou they even reach immortality through practicing sex they were the original ones that created karma sutra sexual positions you can bring back people from the dead through having sex rituals you can you can communicate with astral beings on the astral planes on the seven different astral planes or the seven different subdivisions subdivisions of each astral plane you can communicate with people in hollow earth through sex you can use sex as a weapon to send a vortex of energy to somebody you can use sex as a weapon to to to, to uh, activate your your merkaba you can use sex as a weapon to activate your kudalini you can use sex as a weapon to activate your kudalini yo this shit is real so be mindful of that make this shift come into the line of judah consciousness christ had two attributes the second attribute that he had was the line of judah you see a representation of the line of judah when he was a savior when he when he when he when he when, when he was a savior he was the voice for the voiceless he was the muscle for the defenseless he protected the poor from the government when they came to steal to stone that lady who they called was the adulterous woman when they came to stone her what did he say he said he was he jumped in front of her in other words he protected her that's the line of judah coming out of him he said get behind me he stepped in front of her he said listen he who is without sin throw the first stone if they wouldn't have threw their fucking stones down and walked away he was prepared to kill their ass why because he wasn't a turn of the cheap person you got to make the shift in consciousness it's all about eye for an eye you got to come into the line of judah consciousness he was prepared to kill their ass man he was without fucking sin throw the first stone if they wouldn't have threw their fucking stones away and walked around and walked away he would have he would have been he was ready to kill their ass be why because he was the line of judah so how the fuck you gonna throw a line in the case to wrestle another line it ain't gonna happen how you gonna take a line and cut his head off or hang a line it ain't gonna happen so if you want to get out of that fate that's already destined for you you got to make the shift in consciousness you got to come into this line of judah consciousness at that point they can't they can't fuck with you they can't touch you no more that's how you survive that's how immortality happens immortality is your ability to navigate through higher states of consciousness your ability to to to, to intelligently make the shift in consciousness to recognize the shit that they got going on and to shift before you get caught up in that shit if you still thinking that you got to be a sheep led to the slaughter then guess what you're going to be a sheep led to the slaughter your thoughts are going to become physical you're going to actually experience that shit if you make the shift you know what I'm saying? And coming to the line of Judah consciousness, then that will not happen to you. That will not happen to you. You have to learn how to protect your spirit. And the way you protect your spirit is that you got to create a sphere. You got to sphere it, the spirit. I got a video. I talked about spirit, the spirit. You got to learn how to put a sphere 
a, a magnetic force of, of energy around you that will protect you. And these different paradigms, a paradigm is like an ideology, it's like a belief, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a mental construct. It's like an architectural framework. That's what a paradigm is. It's like a thought. Like Christianity is a paradigm. Islam is a paradigm. Buddhism, Buddhism is a paradigm. Hinduism, that's a paradigm. Even you think in a certain proverb, like, like you know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's a paradigm. I will look towards the hills from which coming forth my help. That's a paradigm. The Lord is a very present help in the time of trouble. That's a paradigm. Listen, when you when you're in danger and you feel like somebody gonna kill you, if you just if you just turn to one of those scriptures, the Lord is a very present help in the time of trouble. I will look towards the hills from which coming forth my help. The name is the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous one into into it and they're safe. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You cannot defeat me. I will destroy you. Which what happens is we walk by faith but not by sight. So when you start saying that. Words are physical. Words create. Words are God. When you start saying that, you're speaking life to your situation. And esoterically, what you're doing is you're running into this, this sanctuary. There's a sanctuary in that paradigm. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You get sanctuary when you say that word. When you say that. When you come into that paradigm. Why? Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they're safe. That the, the, These words, these paradigms are your strong tower. They're your safety. They're your safe haven. They're your safe house. They're your sanctuary. But you got to make the shift in consciousness and start putting energy behind these, these, these new paradigms. I'm talking about, when I talk about making a shift in consciousness, I'm talking about dumping old thoughts, getting rid of old police systems, getting rid of uh, entire mental constructs, getting rid of that shit and coming into new paradigms. They told you that the Nephilims was evil, that the Giants was evil, and that the Giants was going to come back to the planet and kill everybody. Listen, if you're still thinking that shit, then you're on the wrong side of energy. You're going to get sucked into that current of energy and go down. Because when they talk about the Nephilims coming back to the planet, they're afraid of that. you got to embrace and accept that you are a Nephilim, that your ancestors are Nephilims, that your ancestors are Giants. When you accept that, then you unlock your, your Nephilim DNA. And that Nephilim DNA now, this inside of you, that Nephilim DNA that's inside of you now is, is what's going to keep you alive in this, new, in this new age that we're in. The age of the Aquarius. you got to unlock your Nephilim uh, DNA. They're talking about the Nephilim, the giants coming back to the planet. They're talking about a consciousness. They're talking about a consciousness that's coming back to the planet. They're talking about an energy that's coming back to the planet. Look, wouldn't you want to be a, a, a giant versus a midget? Wouldn't you want to be 5,000 feet tall versus 5'6"? Wouldn't you want to be 10,000 feet tall versus 5'7"? Five, 5'7 seven? Five seven inches? Listen, if you're still operating in the midget consciousness and you ain't made the shift, then listen, there's a place for you. They got places for you like that. You got to make the shift in consciousness. You got to come into this Nephilim consciousness, this giant consciousness, this shit that I'll be kicking to you. You got to come into the God consciousness. Unlock that DNA inside of you. Unlock the, 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 the Palladian D DNA that you have. Where you are allowed to instantly manifest things with your dreams. Unlock the Anunnaki DNA inside of you. Where you exorberate or, or amplify nobility. W royalty. Unlock that nobility side of you. By accepting that you are Anunnaki. Accept that you are Palladian. Accept that you are Reptilian. I accept that I'm reptilian. I accept that they're my ancestors. That's why I have the ability to shape shift. That's why I have a, a, a rapid muscle memory. That's why I have, that's why can't nothing happen to me. I have an in, indestructible body. That's why um, I'm, I'm like really indestructible. Like if, if this hand was to get cut off, it would grow back simultaneously just like that. Why? Because I unlock my reptilian gene. This inside of me. I have a Newton gene inside of me that will allow rapid rejuvenation and instant healing, rapid healing. I accept the fact that I came from the, that they were a part of the original scientist that was originally engineering the human body. I accept that I have reptilian DNA inside of me. I accept it, and now that I accept it, I can become it. I can I can I can utilize those abilities that's there for me. That's a lot for me to come into 
because I accept, I embrace the fact that I'm reptilian. I embrace the fact that I'm Palladian. So now I can instantly manifest things with my dreams. My dreams can come true now. I'm Palladian. I accept the fact that I embrace the fact that I'm Anunnaki. So now nobility comes to me. I, I accept the fact that I'm Nephilim, that I'm giant. So now that 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 energy is there. I've unlocked it. I've unlocked the giant energy. It's there now. It's all running through my veins. It's it's, it's running in, it's in my being. It's my it's a part of my physical composition. It's part of my genetic makeup. DNA always changes. All of that shit that is you one fingerprint, your fingerprint always changes. Your hand always changes. Your facial expressions always change. DNA always changes. DNA never stays the same. You got to change with the times though. You can't be operating off of a midget consciousness, off of a, a sacrificial lamb consciousness, and think that you're going to make it. You're not. You're not going to make it, yo. Change with the times. Change with the times. That's why I say they can't fuck with me. Why? Because I'm nuclear. I'm a nuclear weapon. My neural system is clear. Nuclear. My neural system is clear. I'm thinking clear. I'm feeling clear. I'm speaking clear. I'm living clear. I am clear. The bullshit ain't got. Nah, I'm listen. All that bullshit. I don't. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't concern me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Just like in the Greek mythology. Just like when you got in the Greek mythology, you got the Metator, the bull. You got to be able to kill that bull. Put the man, cut that bullshit, man. Cut the bullshit. Be the God that you initially called to be. I tell you that you God. I call you God. I call you God. Is why? Because you know thyself. I keep telling you, start going within. Look at the sun. Get your downloads from the sun. The sun is our Wi-Fi. It's our communication with the omniverse, with the multiple universes, with our star systems, with our Elohim, with our, our soul group. Start uh, uh, sun gazing. Start moon gazing. Start stargazing. If you think it's evil, go to the Bible. In the, in the Old Testament, in the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes was, was written by King Solomon. King Solomon was proclaimed to be the most wisest man on the planet Earth. He wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, which means the preacher. The preacher is somebody who proclaims proclamations, proclaim. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 7, 7 11. You see that paradigm? You see that metamorphosis right there? In, in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 7, he says, It is sweet and good and wonderful for the eye to behold the glory of the sun. He's talking about sun gazing right there. All of the whole Bible is allegoric. It's filled with more science. Everything deals with science. We don't give a fuck about that hocus pocus shit that they talking about in the Catholic church or in the Christian church. All that shit, we don't deal with that shit. We deal with, we deal with, we deal with uh, mathematics, social, ge uh, 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 sacred geometry, astrology. You know what I'm saying? My ancestors deal with that. We kick that real shit. We kick that 333, that 999. We kick that ether shit. Even before the 13, even before we start using the 13. We kicked that 999 shit. We kicked that 333 shit. I told you I'm finna start using the 333 frequency. This is a 333 frequency right here. This information from the 9. Amplified three times. 3339. Born, birth, completion. I tell you, God, all the time. How are you, God? How are you, God, Lord, you kitty outside? Well, look, this is how you're God. Your thoughts slow down to form light. Light travels at 1,112 miles per second. Your light slows down to form sound. Sound travels at 1,168 miles per second. We know the sound takes on geometrical shapes and formations. Just like you could take a grain of salt or you could take a grain of sand, place it on the board, play a certain sound, play a certain frequency at certain hertz. And that sort or that same sand is going to take on a geometrical shape and formation. So as your thoughts slow down to form light, and as your light slow down to form sound, you took on a geometrical shape and formation. The geometrical shape and formation that you took on was the sacred geometry. You took on the, the, the geometrical shape or the, the pattern or the formation of the Star of David. The pyramid upright and the upside down pyramid amplified together. 
This is the esoteric knowledge and secrets behind the story of David in the Bible. This is what's going on. And so the, the six-pointed configuration of that story of David is dealing with the male. Leg, arm, leg, arm, head, phallus, the dick, the penis. And the five-pointed configuration of that story of David is dealing with the female. Leg, arm, leg, arm, head, uterus, and riches pointed in the direction of it. That's why the woman sacred geometry is a representation of the waist up. And the male sacred geometry is a, is a representation of the waist down. That's why they say men think with they dick and women think with they tits. That's why they cut, they fucking, they, they, that's why they got all kind of push-up bras and all kind of um, low-cut uh, fabrics, low, like they cut certain degrees into the fabric to show the bust, to show the titties. Why? Because if she flirted a little bit with her titties, she might get the job. She might get the role. She might get the position. Women think with their titties. They think, if I can just show a little titties, I can flirt a little bit, this motherfucker going to like me. Men think with their dick. If I can just fuck her, I can make her do certain things for me. I got a video. I talk about protect your sacred, keep your sacred geometry sacred. It's sacred for a reason. Certain parts of your hands, of your arms, represent the masculine energy. And certain parts of your hands, of your, of your arms and legs, represents the feminine energy. Yin yang energy. The feminine energy is the yin energy. That's the water element. That's the primordial dark energy. That's the energy of the gods. That's the immortal energy. That energy, we're in the age of the Aquarius. That's the energy that's on the planet right now. Then you got the yang energy, which is the masculine energy, which is the male energy, which is the fire element, which is the solar light energy. It's the solar light energy. You see what I'm saying? And so you got to learn to start keeping your geometry sacred. You got to start keeping your geometry sacred. That's why when, it, when women get around you, they want to touch your arms. They want to feel your geometry. They want to they want to touch. They all up in your sacred geometry. You see these patterns and shit? Everything is a sacred geometry. They want to get into your yin-yang energy. So real quick recap, real quick recap, think fast, speak fast, move fast, right down to the modern day times. That's how you tap into your genius gene. Not only that, but um, when you, I want you to go and get you a, um, a, some earphones. I want you to get you a CD player. I want you to get you a CD player. I want you to get you some earphones. And I want you to um to get you some some Beethoven, some classical music, right? And I want you to run. I want you to run. I want you to go jog. And even if you jog for five minutes, even if you jog for 10 minutes a day. Why? Because exercise rewires the brain. It rewires the brain. That's how you protect yourself from the MK to mind control programming and all of the bullshit that they feed in you, that they feed in your neurocortex and your limbic systems and your mind. That's how you protect yourself from the bullshit. Go and get you an affirmation CD that deals with confidence, that deals with strength, that deals with power, that deals with beauty. I am beautiful. I am a strong magnet and I attract into my sphere of reality beautiful beings who, who, who accept the beauty in me. I am a, a being of beauty. I am the frequency of beauty. Listen to that while you, while you exercise it. Because it's gonna rewire your brain. It's gonna it's gonna get a it's gonna get rid of that poor me. I'm ugly. I never get the man of my dreams. The poor me. I'm ugly. I'm unattractive. I never get the woman of my dreams. Bullshit. You gotta rewire your brain. Do some jumping jacks and use your seven I am's. I am love. I do. Use your I am's. I am love. I do love. I feel love. I. You know what I'm saying use your seven eyes. I do love. I feel love. I am love. I see love. I know love. Use your seven eyes to instantly manifest things. Use your strong magnet. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality confident beings who are high in vibration, who sincerely and genuinely appreciate me 
and uplift me. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality large sums of wealth from known and unknown sources. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my reality love. Beings who are filled with love. Beings who love me. Beings who love to be around me. Start using your strong magnet. Listen, this is how you program the computer. But you got to open up your mouth. I gave you the signs. I gave you the sacred geometry. I told you about the chakras. What good is it to know about your chakras if you don't even know how to use the shit? I told you that your root chakra sits at the base of your spine dealing with the Kudalini energy. Dealing with the Nagai serpent that sits right there. Them dragons that sit at the, at the base of your spine. I told you that the root chakra deals with your ability to manifest. It deals with grounding. It deals with protection. It deals with security. It deals with all of that. At the root chakra, I told you, bring your vortex, your, your, uh, your hands. Clap your hands like this. Clap them a few times. Why clap them a few times? Because it distorts the particles that surround you. And it also allows the electrolytes to pulsate from your fingers. I told you what each one of these fingers represent. The pointing finger represents Jupiter. The middle finger represents Saturn. The ring finger represents the sun. And the pinky finger represents Mercury. I told you what each one of these gods represent. Jupiter represents uh, Zeus. In Greek mythology, he was the god above the gods of Olympias. He had the power to, to wield, to yield uh, uh, lightning. He also had that, uh, the eagle, which was also a representation of the phoenix, which is also a representation of his immortality and his ability to destroy and his ability to oversee and to have superior wisdom over all things. He had all kind of different abilities. This right here, Saturn. I keep telling you, Saturn is like the greatest father of all times. He will amplify you as long as you're responsible. As long as you got $500 in the bank, he would come and give you $5 million in the bank. As long as you being responsible, he like one of them fathers to like, look, I'm going to give you this. And if you do good to this, if you do good with this, I'm going to give you more. But I got to see that you're doing good with this. That's why I tell you, honor the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is on Saturday. If you go one day without eating meat, he will give you so much energy. If you go one day without, without working, he will give you an abundance of money. Look. Money will come to you if you just honor Saturn on the Sabbath day. If you consecrate yourself on, on Saturday, which is Saturn, dealing with Saturn, then everything that you give up, he going to give you times 10. So if you stop talking on the cell phone on Saturday from the time that the sun rises on Friday to the, I mean, yeah, to the time that the sun rises on Saturday. If you, if you talk, if you stop talking on the phone, give up the media. For that one day, watch how amplified your energy comes becomes. Make a sacrifice. Give up meat. Give up something. Give up money. Give up going to work on Saturday. And watch how amplified your shit comes. Saturn is like that planet that would give you shit and values. But you got to show first. He ain't going to come and give you shit. Mercury will just give it to you. Venus will just give it to you. Jupiter will just give it to you. You know what I'm saying? The sun will just give it to you. The moon will just give it to you. Pluto will give it to you. Mars will give it to you. Cairo will give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Uranus will give it to you. All these different planets will just give you shit. Saturn ain't going to give you shit. Saturn going gonna to give you the shit that you got, but he going to make sure you make a sacrifice to him first. You got to give some kind of energy to Saturn. And then he will come and give it to you in values. When he give you shit, he going to give it to you in values. Saturn deals with protection. Saturn deals with... he. Look, if it's a motherfucker that got rage against you, or a motherfucker that got wrath against you, Saturn will come down for his child, for you, and, and show wrath against that motherfucker. Saturn will destroy shit. That's why they say don't give him, don't give nobody the middle finger. Don't flip him the bird. Why? Because this is dealing with Saturn. And the thumb is giving approval. I tell you, when you go like this, you're forming a vortex of energy. Why? Because this formulates a grand trine. A grand trine is when four planets are at 100 and de 170 degrees from each other. And they're all getting along. They're in conjunction. They're getting along. They're in alignment. When you go like this, this is a grand trine. This is four planets. This is Jupiter. This is Saturn. This is the sun. And this is Mercury. Mercury is that God. And it's Apollos. And the, and the, the Greek God Apollos. The God's the wings in his back. But he got the boots with the wings that allows him to fly. He's the messenger God. He sends messengers and shit. Messages. Everywhere. But he also has a born arrow that is spirit somebody. And he also has certain different weapons and shit that assist you too. That's why when you go like this, this is powerful. This is powerful. All this shit is esoteric, man. 
You got to start becoming a weapon. Develop your weapon. Develop your weapon. I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. So formulate a vortex of, of energy like this, which also is a grand triumph. The thumb is Pilates. It represents dominion. Put your hands like this. Bring it down to your right here. That's in front of your root chakra and the, the very beginning where your dick is. Where your, where your pussy is. Your vagina. We're adults. We can talk raw. And then from this point, start creating. I am a strong magnet. And I willfully bring it up from right here. From the root chakra. Bring it to your navel chakra. Bring it to your bring it to your uh your solar plexus. Bring it to your heart chakra. Bring it to your throat chakra. Bring it. Bring it to your throat chakra. Bring it to your third eye. Bring it to your crown chakra. Bring it to your crown. Hold on. Bring it to your crown chakra. And then release it into the universe. And come right back. Release it into the universe and come right back down to the root chakra. You know what I'm saying? Sacral chakra. Solar plexus. Heart chakra. You know what I'm saying? Throat chakra. Third eye chakra. Crown chakra. Bring it up right here. Crown chakra. And bring it right back down. You know what I'm saying? Bring it right back down to the root chakra. This is how you program the computer. Start using your strong magnets. I am a strong magnet and I willfully create into my sphere of reality beings who love me for me. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality large sums of, of money from known and own unknown sources. I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract into my sphere of reality. You know what I'm saying? Um... Women who, who are attracted to me. I'm a strong magnet. And I willfully attract them to my spirit. Listen. Start using this esoteric secrets, man. Don't just. What good is it to know about the chakras if you don't know how to use the shit? You know what I'm saying? Like. They teach you all day long about the chakras. But they ain't going to teach you how to use it. That's why right here at the 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Life. I teach you how to use those chakras. Don't give, don't give me a fucking esoteric key. If you ain't going to tell me how to use the key to unlock, to get to the power. So I'm trying to empower you. I'm not trying to. I am empowering you. I'm empowering you. Now you have to be responsible. Responsible. Two words. An ability, but responding to the ability that you have. That's why in the Bible it says, be you not just a hearer of the word, but be you also a doer of the word. You got to do the word. Don't just hear it. Do it. Put it to practical use. That's the difference between a noun and a verb. A noun is a person, place, a thing. A verb is an action word. Don't tell me you love me. Show me you love me. Show and prove you love me. You can say you love me all day long, but your actions is proving that you hate me. You doing shit against me like you my enemy. Don't say that you love me. Just show it and prove it. And then show it and prove it is telling me. Then we can talk about love. You see what I'm saying? So I call you God and I call you goddess because you know thyself. And it's very important that you stay mindful of these things, beloved. That you stay mindful of these things. Uh, this is your homework. This is your homework. This is what I want you to do. I want you to start using your chakras. I want you to, to form your grand triumphs and start using your chakras. Come right here, 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 right here to program the computer. Universe is like a big ass quantum computer. You got to learn how to program it with commands, with the appropriate commands to get what you want. How could you even begin to deal with the, law, the cosmic law of attraction when you first neglecting the first law, which is the law of creation? How can I attract something to my sphere of reality if I haven't yet first created that? So they got you on some superficial shit. You scratching the surface when you're talking about the law of creation. I mean of attraction. You got to first deal with things in this syncrasy and it's uh, uh, numer 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 numerological synchrony and its order you got to deal with the synchrony of of how to get to the law of attraction you got to deal with first the law of creation how could you attract something if you ain't created it and when you attract something you attracting something that you first created first so right here at the at 13 cosmic law astrology in the university of cosmic mysteries and light i deal with all laws of cosmic laws and not only that i take it a step further 
I push the envelope. I tell you, you got to create your own laws. Fuck going off of what Carl Newton said. Fuck going off of what, what Albert Einstein said. They wrote that shit down in the composition book. And now it's a law. Now, it's it, you know, karma is a law. The law of cause and effect. That's what we call karma on the West. That's a law. That shit is the law in the universe because they wrote it down in the composition book. Write the vision down and make it plain. Carl Newton said, where the attention goes to energy flows. That's a law now. That's a cosmic law. Write your shit down. Make your own laws. Don't deal with they shit. I mean, it's good to know they lost. For lack of knowledge, God's people are perishing. So, of course, you want to know about the law of creation. You want to know about the law of attraction. You want to know about the law of karma, the cause and effect law. You want to know about these different laws. It's the law of love. Some of y'all don't even know the law of love. That ain't even being taught. I'm going to teach you about the law of love. I'm going to tell you how you can develop the love weapon. Love is the most powerful weapon in the universe. That's why they got some shit called a true love kiss. Kiss somebody and the, and the sacred geometry of the two lips touching each other and the volumes of love coming out of you is going to go inside of that person and break all curses. It's some shit called the true love kiss. Do your research in Africa, in India, in, uh, in the land that they're now calling Africa, which we originally know as being Kemet, and in the land that they're now calling India, and in the land that they're now calling Asia, they're using the true love kiss. They're kissing animals on the forehead. Because kissing an animal that's dying on the forehead will bring that animal back to life. They're bringing people, beings, back to life by kissing them on the forehead. It'll bring them back to life. The true love kiss. True love kiss breaks all spells and all curses. You can ask somebody that's, that's, that's dying from a disease and kiss them with the true love kiss. And, 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 the, and the volumes of love that's inside of you will spring up inside. It will be like a well, a, 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 a pool of healing. It will be like a pool of healing that will heal them. Love is a powerful weapon. Evil ain't stronger than love. Love is stronger than evil. Love is the most powerful weapon in the universe. Develop your weapon of love. Know that shit. Listen, don't just know the shit. What good is it to study all of the cosmic laws if you're not using it for your advantage? What good is it? You got to take these cosmic laws and start applying them. I'm showing you how to manifest. I'm giving you shit. That, listen, Masons sacrifice their soul for this shit. Illuminati members, certain Illuminati and certain Masons sacrifice their soul for this shit. I'm giving it to you for free. I'm giving you degrees of knowledge for free. Why? Because I love you and I want you to survive. I'm teaching you light codes from the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. This is a secret school. This is an esoteric school. This is a mystery school. Do you know how privileged you are to get this information right here? Don't just take this shit like this is just a regularized, mediocre conversation or a consultation. This is not a mediocre, mediocre conversation or a consultation. This is a life-saving conversation right here. Consultation. This is a revival. I'm leading you beside the still water so that you can restore your soul. And I'm not charging you nothing. But I'm, I'm, I'm making the information available for you. So that, why? So that you can apply it. So that you don't just be ye a hearer of the word, but be ye also a doer of the word. Go out and do it. Demonstrate it. Listen, I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear your feedback about how you've been learning and how you've been manifesting. Listen, inbox me. Let me know how you've been manifesting. Let me know some of the shit you've been manifesting. Write it down in your composition book. Tyler Perry is a billionaire. First, fastest growing billionaire in the last 10 years. How did he get there? Because he was using shit, esoteric knowledge. Writing it down in his book, his book of plays. He was writing it down in his playbook. All of his plays, those dramas, those live dramas, those was plays. Those was plays to get him rich. When he come out with that diary of a mad woman, when he come out with that, you know what I'm saying, thy kingdom come, when he come out with those motherfucking Medea and all of that, those is plays. He's getting rich off of them plays. He writing this shit down in his me composition book. Start writing the things that you want down in your book. It's all about being proactive. Make the shift in consciousness. Stop being on the defense and start being on the offense. Make the shift in consciousness, yo. I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. Listen, I'm not a leader. Don't call me a leader. Nah, I'm not a leader. I might be a Nephilim. I might be a God, but I'm not a leader. I'm just giving you vital information that you already know is is this dormant inside of you 
You've been on a sleeping path for a while. I come back to revise you, to just give you a boost, a little charge, to supercharge your shit so that you can wake up and get back on your awakened path and start realizing your dreams, actualize your potential, develop that shit that's, in dor that's dormant inside of you, develop your potential, your gifts, your innateness, develop your innateness. I tell you all the time, start going within. Stop stop looking for these motherfucking gurus and preachers and faggot ass preachers and all that stupid ass shit, man. Fuck that shit. Go within. You know everything. I'm not telling you something that you don't know. I'm just giving you information that you forgot. And it resonates with you. You see this synchronicity in it. It's resonating with you. I'm just sharing with you information that resonates with you. I'm not telling you nothing. I'm just reminding you. That's all I'm doing. I'm merely reminding you. That's all I'm doing. I'm reminding you. Because some, some, somehow along the way, you lost your path. You lost the way. You don't know the way. So beings like me, beings like the 13th son, beings like Dr. Nabiru, beings like Dr. Phil Valentine, beings like Brother Azazel, we got to come back. We got to come back to keep this consciousness this God consciousness to get you back on your shit. To get you back on your shit, man. So that we can get this planet back on this rightful place. So that we can get this planet back functioning the way it's supposed to be functioning, yo. That's why I come back. I didn't come back to fucking kumbaya, my lord shit. I came back to smash on this shit. It's build and destroy shit. In order for us to come into our shit, we got to destroy their shit. They lies. They illusions. They, they, they deception. The veil is lifted. It's up to you if you want to go beyond it. The veil is lifted. The quarantine is up. The quarantine is up and the veil is lifted. It's only it's up to you if you want to go beyond the veil. If you want to continue to follow the pendulum. If you want to continue to be a slave to that shit and follow the pendulum. Or if you want to start manifesting shit. Money is a, is a matrix. That shit is a third party. It's like if you got a shirt and I got some jewelry. If you want my jewelry and I want your shirt, let's make it even extends. Why do we need money as a third party, as a third party or as a medium to negotiate the contract, to negotiate our exchange? We don't need money. That's a matrix. Get off of money. Start manifesting shit. I'm telling you, get you a composition book. Write that shit out. Speak the thing. Speak it with the right language. Use the right words of power. Use the right words of power. I just gave you some dynamic words of power to start using. Dynamic words of power. You got to start using these words of power to make shit happen for you. Manifest it. If you want the, the vehicle of your dreams, manifest it. Go to sleep. Write it down. Take a bath. Do get the certain rock crystals that you need. That would, that would get you that. Write it down. Go to sleep. Wake up. The, the keys is under your pillow. You riding around in your car. You want the house of your dreams? Write it down. Write it down in your composition book. Do the energy work. With, listen, it's, the universe is like this. What you omit into the universe, omit into the universe, you, it's going to be reciprocated back to you. You're going to get it back. The, the same measure of energy that you put into manifesting this is, the, is, is what's going to give you what, you what you want back. You're manifesting it. You are architecturally designing your life. Your thoughts are. So their job is to keep you in density. To keep you in their web of illusion. You got to see that. And, and navigate through the bullshit. You got to see that. And navigate through the bullshit. That's why. Listen. I believe everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's really going on. So here at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, I'm just showing you what's really going on. All that. The police force. Man, fuck the police force. What happened to your force? Why you got to call the police? Because they suppressed your energy? You giving energy to them. You giving power to them. Keep your energy. You got all of the energy of yin and yang. The whole energy of the universe is inside of you. Use your energy, your force. Stop giving your power to other motherfuckers, believing and trusting in them. If somebody break into your house, you gonna let the motherfuckers rape your wife and rape your kids? No. 
You are you gonna be like, oh, I gotta call the police first? That's what they do in the movies. They program you to call nine one one. Fuck that shit. Ain't no nine one one. You break into my motherfucking house, you better be ready to die. Ain't no nine one one. Why do I need a police force? I I am the force. I'm the force of the universe. I'm the force of the omniverse. Women, same shit. Somebody break into your house, women? You gonna let the motherfuckers run your house? I'm talking to you women. You gonna reach for the phone and call the police? Or you gonna take charge? Listen, women created this world, believe it or not. This world was created by a woman. This is the feminine energy. The, 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 the redhead goddesses created Lamaria, created Atlantis. They created this earth. When you look in the Bible and you and you see Yahshua, who you call Jesus Christ, when when they said that he was following, when when they said he was following the disciples, I mean, when Mary Magdalene was following him, you thinking that he was having an affair with her, you thinking that she was just some old washed up whore. No, she was the goddess. She taught him everything. She was the brains behind the operation. She was the consciousness. That was the goddess that taught Yahshua everything that he knew. They belonged to the same secret society. They were a part of an order, an esoteric order. When she followed him around, she was he was the student. She was the teacher. He was the pupil. He was the pupil. He was the student. She was the teacher. That goddess energy. She was the teacher. When you talk about the earth, you don't say Father Earth, Father Land. You say Mother Earth, Motherland, Mother Nature. So when you pray all of that Our Father shit, ain't no Our Father. You ain't contacting the universe like that. It's Mother, Father, God. That's how you contact the universe. You give reference to the woman first. All of that shit in the Bible when it talked about man created was created first, then he was put to sleep and then the woman came. That's bullshit. They lying. That's why you got to rightfully divide the word of God in truth. The woman came first, then the man. They tell you that the man got six ribs and the woman got five ribs. They got, she, on one side, they she got, they, that the man got one more rib over than the woman. That's true. But it's not because the man came first and then the woman came second. If that's the case, if the woman came second, then she would have a seven rib and the man would have a six rib. She wouldn't have one lesser rib. Because the creation has already been there. So after you create something, you just continue to add on to that creation. Which, which brings about perfecting your original creation. You don't take away from your original creation. So why does she have one lesser rib than him? Because she came first. The woman came first. When you look at the universe, you look at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Look, scientists are now calling the center of the Milky Way galaxy to play the birthplace of God. In essence, they're saying that's where God created everything in the universe, everything in this universe, everything in the multiverse, the multiple universes, and everything that we know in the omniverse started at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. At the center of the Milky Way galaxy where the Nagai Serpent is, right? At the center of the Milky Way galaxy, that's the first energy that was there was a feminine energy, the yin energy. That's the energy of the gods. When you talk about the energy of the gods, you're talking about a pre-mortal dark energy. When you look at the pyramids that's in Kemet, the land that they're now calling Africa, and you look at the Great Pyramid of the in Giza, that, that pyramid is directly aligned according to the energy grid of the earth and aligned with the, the uh the uh, 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 according to the energy grid of the store constellation Orion. Orion is dealing with pre-mortal dark energy. That energy of the gods, the yin energy, that's a uh, uh that's a feminine energy. This has nothing to do with no male chauvinist shit, a man and woman. This ain't no man's world. That's this is not this is a woman's world. They want you to think that this is a man's world. This is a woman's world. When I talk about yin yang energy, I talk about the balance, the cosmic balance of the energies of the universe. You have yin yang energy inside of you. Every woman has a certain hormone that's masculine inside of them, and every man has a certain hormone that's feminine inside of them. You have YG components inside of your body. You are an atom true. An atom is made up of six protons, six neurons, and six ele electrons. That's what makes up an atom. Inside of that atom, you have certain components that are feminine and masculine. That are feminine and masculine. The first energy in the universe was a, a feminine energy. This has nothing to do with some human shit. This is cosmic. The yin energy represents the woman. It represents the water element. 
It represents premortal dark energy, a nurturing energy. That's why the woman is the nurturer and the male is the protector. The nurturing energy, that premortal dark energy, that's the immortal energy of the gods. That's the energy of the gods. The, the gods were the first beings that came here. They had that energy. That's what gave them advantage over the yang. The yang is the, is the masculine energy, representation of the fire element. Representation of the solar light energy. You got a lot of these motherfuckers running around here with solar light energy. They don't have the premortal dark energy of the gods. They don't have that energy. I'm trying to tell you how to get to that energy. I'm not trying to tell you. I'm telling you how to get to that energy. I got a video talking about how to get the premortal energy, the premortal dark energy of the gods. Immortality. Nephilim. God consciousness. Omni consciousness. Watch that video. Do the energy work. We're in the age of the Aquarius. That feminine energy is back on the planet. You don't say Father Earth. You don't say Father Nature. You don't say Father Land. You say Mother Land. You say Mother Nature. You say Mother Earth. This is a woman's world. This ain't a man's world. When Mary was following Yahshua in the Bible, she wasn't following Yahshua in the Bible. She was teaching him. But because at the time, the things that the way the government and the, and the way the structure was set up, it was dealing with the, the masculine energy. It was under the yang, the yang energy. That's why at the time they said it's a man's world because the yang energy ruled. The fire element, the yang energy ruled. The solar light energy ruled. Now we're in the edge of the Aquarius. So it's the yang energy, the nurturing energy. That's what's ruling right now. You got to make the shift in consciousness. If you make the shift, you, you're going to allow yourself to be an antenna. And a well that they can come down and, and fill, fill your well up with that premortal dark energy. But you got to make the shift in consciousness. I'm trying. I, I'm not trying. I'm telling you how to unlock your DNA so that you can make this shift effectively, efficiently. It's very important that you survive. I love you. That's why I continue to kick this God consciousness. That's why I continue to kick this Nephilim consciousness because I love you and I want you to survive. But it's very important that, you know what I'm saying, that you be mindful of these things, beloved. It's very important that you be mindful of these things. So when you start, when look, even even when you see the black man, the so-called black man, because black means slave, white means slave. If you look in the Black's Law Dictionary, a edition, black means slave and white means slave. That's legalese. I don't get caught up in the black and white shit. Why? Because God is a spirit. That's what the Bible says. God is a spirit and those to worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God is a spirit. You're a spirit. I don't see your, the color of the pigmentation of your skin because all of that shit, every time they get into separatism, that's the divide and conquer shit. They want us to be divided so they can continue to conquer us. Ain't no divide and conquer shit going on around here. I look at the spirit. Your Bible tells you try the spirit by the spirit. Is that person Does that person have a right spirit? A loving spirit, a gentle spirit, a kind spirit. Listen, be delicate as a dove, but also be ready to strike their ass. The Bible, the Bible tells you be delicate as a dove, but wise as a snake. Snakes ain't going out. They wise. Serpents, you got to be wise like that nigga serpent. So when you look at the so-called black man in the pictures behind George Washington or behind Abraham Lincoln, you thinking that they was the slave. No, them wasn't the slaves in that picture. Them was the teachers. Them was the wise men. Them was the Morris navigators. They was the Morris navigators teaching Morris science. Teaching them our science. Same shit. When you read the Bible and you say Mary Magdalene followed Yahshua around, Christ around, she wasn't she was the teacher, motherfucker. She wasn't the motherfucking whore. She was the teacher. She was the goddess. She taught Yahshua everything that he knew. This is a woman's world. This world was created by women. The feminine goddesses. That's why in, 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 in the land that they're now calling Egypt, we know it as being Kemet. When, it, when, it, when, it, when the goddesses with the red hair came, they was killing them. They wanted to kill the goddesses with the red hair. All through Europe and shit, they was killing the goddesses with the red hair. Why? Why? Because that is the original goddesses that created this world. This is a woman's world. But the yang energy, everything in the universe is dealing with times. Times. You got to change with the time. That's why I'm giving you new paradigms to come into. So that you can get the proper light codes, the proper downloads. So that you can survive. Because if not, we're in the age of Aquarius. If you still op operating off of a yang mentality, then you're going to miss the yang energy that's available for you. 
If you're still operating off of the fire element, then you're going to miss the water element. The water element is the strongest of all elements. So look, as your light slow down to form sound, sound travels at 1,112 miles per second. And as your sound slow down to form light, I mean, I, hold on. As your, as your light slow down to form thought, I mean, wow, I'm moving too fast. As your thoughts slow down to form light, light travels at 1,112 miles per second. As your light slow down to form sound, sound travels at 1,168 miles per second. You took on a geometrical shape and, and formation of the star David. As you became more condensed, you took on all of the elements of the planet. The fire element, the water element, the air element, the earth element, the fifth element, which is ether. Some say love or some say spirit. And a sixth element, which is carbon. That's why in the Bible it tells you that the man was created on the sixth day. That's why in the Quran it says that the first man was, was, was grafted, you know what I'm saying, and was created and designed out of the dirty mud, out of the black mud. Because he was melanated. His skin was dark and melanated. Six. What makes up an atom? We know that Adam wasn't the first man. That's allegory. That's a metaphor. That shit. That's allegory. That's a metaphor. It's, it's symbolic that represents an atom. An actual atom. And what makes up an atom? Six protons, six electrons, and six neurons makes up an atom. This is where you get the 666 from. This is the original vibrations of man. I keep telling you. Put this 666 right here, which is your Nega Serpent, to your temple. Put it to your temple right here. To your temple. This taps you into a high degree of, uh, of information. When they talk about you are a certain zodiac sign. When they say that you are a certain zodiac sign, listen, as above, so below, all right, as above, so below, so you thinking that you just a Scorpio from a star constellation up there, down here you are also a Scorpio, you are a water sign, if you are cancer up there, down here you are, you're the crab down here, you are a water sign. Same shit. If you a Leo up there, you a Leo down here. If you a Aries or a, or a Pisces up there, you a Aries or a Pisces down here. You have mastery over that element. If you are a water sign, you got mastery over the water element. If you are a, a, a air sign, you got mastery over the air element. If you a, a fire sign, you got mastery over the fire uh, uh, element. This is the shit that they not telling you. If you are Sagittarius, you not just a Sagittarius up there. You are Sagittarius down here. You can literally jump out the window. If you are a fire element, you can literally jump out the end, out the window, out of a five-story window, and burst up into a, a flame of fire. They'll be like, damn, what the fuck? Where did he go? What the fuck just happened? Why? Why are they saying that? Why? Because you are the fire element. You are fire. You got the, the ability to transcend into fire. Same shit. If you are a water element, you got the ability to break down your physical composition to turn into water. Same shit if you're an earth element, an earth sign, an earth sign. You got the ability to break down your physical composition and turn into earth. You can shape shift into everything that's mass, mass matter. You can become the density of everything. Same thing. If you are an air element, you got the ability to, to become air. To move with the air. That's why you have to have knowledge of these different elements. All right, water. Water consumes everything around it. Water has the ability. When it tests something, it want to own that shit. When it tests something, it want to conquer that shit. When, it, when water touches something, it want to absorb it. It want to surround it. It wants to, it's territorial. That's how water is. Wind. Air. Air has to move. Air has to flow. You can't trap air. That's why you don't like to be trapped. Air has to move, it has to flow. Learn this shit. Earth is patient. It takes a long time for Earth to develop into a new rock. Earth is patient. So when you learn these elements, fire, fire flickers. Fire is dynamic. Fire is like dynamic. Fire is intimate. Intimacy, intimacy is fire. When you learn the different functions of these elements, then you learn how you got to start becoming in order to transcend into that shit. All of that. The water is hot, the water is cold. Listen, 80% of your physical composition, disposition is made up of water. 
So the water ain't cold or hot. It's all mental. If you if you give room and space to the idea that the water is hot or that the water is cold, then it's gonna be hot or cold. Because your thoughts are becoming physical. Your thoughts are physical. So your thought, you're thinking that this water is hot is making the water hot. You're thinking that the water is cold is making the water cold. That's a program. You can destroy that MK to my control program by becoming one with the water. Just jump into the, the shower. No matter how hot or cold that shit is. Just become one with it. I am water. You're using your I am, which is your God particle, which is your ability to simultaneously manifest and create everything that it is that you attach your I am to. I am that I am water. At that point, hot and cold has no bearings. It doesn't matter. There's no density right there. It doesn't matter. There's no density right there. It doesn't matter. You're going beyond the veil. Same shit. When you was a little kid, you used to test the fire. You used to let a fire. You used to actually play with the fire until your parents seen you. Your parents is your first MK to my control program handlers. By the way, they're your first program handlers. They don't want to program you with the hot and cold program, with the human anatomy program, with the all of that shit, up and down program, law of gravity and all that stupid ass shit. When you, when you was a young kid, you used to put on a fucking cape and try to jump off all kind of high structures. Why? Because you knew that you can fly. When you was a little kid, you actually touched the fire. You actually touched the fire. You actually played with the fire. Why did you play with the fire? Because the fire is merely a representation of the fire inside of you. We all have a huge sun burning inside of us. That's your solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra. You got a huge sun inside of you, burning constantly. You know what I'm saying? I tell you all the time that you are your own individual universe in a collective multiverse, in a collective multiple universes. You got to protect your planets. You got to, each one of your chakras, they teach seven chakras now. They used to teach nine chakras, but originally it was 13 chakras that was most represented. Even though a chakra is nothing but a gland, you have several different, you have thousands of glands in your human body. That's what a chakra is. It's just a gland. But we focus on certain vortexes of energy. There's certain vortexes of, of energy around certain glands in your body. And those are the ones that we primarily focus on. So I don't really teach seven chakras. I get into the 13 chakras. I get into the 13 planets. Each one of those chakras represents a planet that you govern. You are God. You are goddess. I'm trying to get you to bring in your subconscious abilities into this rip, into this consciousness. When you wake up, you know, like when you go to sleep, you sleep. You in your subconscious mind or your unconscious mind. If you in a state of fear, then you in your unconscious mind. If you in a state of happiness, then you in your subconscious mind. When you in your subconscious mind, you God. When you sleep, everything that you wanted to do when you was awake. You're doing that shit when you sleep. You're God. You in your subconscious mind, you're God. Period. That's why I tell you, write your shit down. Because when you write it down, when you go to sleep, you in your subconscious mind. You actually creating that shit. You're creating that house. You're building that 16 fucking room mansion that you want. You building that car that when you wake up, you want the keys to be under your pillow. You building that shit. You manifesting that shit. Then when you gain consciousness in this reality, I don't like to say when you wake up or when you become conscious. When you become conscious, it's just you're just regaining focus in this realm, in this reality. When you regain focus in this realm or in this reality or when you become conscious, as they say, I'm attempting. What I'm doing is I am sharing with you information so that you can, t you can take the subconscious mind and all of the abilities and all of the infinite Abilities that's, that's there for you, the gifts that's there for you in your subconscious mind, bring that shit into your conscious reality. When you gain focus in this reality and you become conscious, I'm, what I'm doing here at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light is I'm sharing with you how you can reap the benefits of your subconscious mind while you're conscious, while you regain focus in this reality. That's what this is all about. As above, so below. As above, so below. That's what's really going on. If you are Leo, you are the fire element. You are the fire element. 
You have the I will. You have a strong will. Your planetary ruler is the sun. If you are Virgo, you are earth element. Patience is what you need to learn. Patience, if you are earth element, you need to learn patience. If you can master that virtue, patience, then you can shape shift and turn into everything that's mass density. Everything that's density around you, you can you can shape shift and turn into that. With the patience element, with the patience virtue. Water. Water. You gotta learn emotions. The the water is the I feel. The I feel. Air. I think. That's the I think. Air element. When you learn how air works, then you learn everything that's dealing with communication. Then you learn that everything that's dealing with communication is dealing with the air element. Everything dealing with communication is dealing with the air element. That's why we're able to communicate right now. Because the certain pockets of speak, the certain air pockets. Listen, information travels through light. So you have crystals inside of your computer with fiber cords wrapped around them so that the information can travel through the light. That gives you the, 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 the ability to connect with me. But the reason why you're able to hear me is because you have certain air pockets in your speakers. And the air coming out of me and the air is allowing that my voice to project through your speakers. Air. If you have air in your astrological sign, if you are an air sign, then, then you know what I'm saying? If you are an air sign, then you can master all of the clairs. You automatically have clair, clairvoyance, clair cognitus, clair audio, clair vision, clair smelling, clair touching. You automatically have all of that shit. You just gotta unlock that. You automatically can can make the fucking a tornado appear. You automatically have mastery over air. Automatically. Automatically. Automatically, Libras, you automatically have the air, a mastery over air. You automatically have mastery over air. Automatically. Automatically, Aquarius, you automatically have mastery over air. That's the IC manifestation. You got to start using your seven eyes, your ability to simultaneously manifest things, attach it to your I am. Write it down. Write the vision down and make it plain. Get you a mead composition book. Certain books, certain journals, certain journals, and certain kind of pens, and certain inks from certain kind of pens, and certain colors from certain kind of inks allows you to manifest things. That's what they're not telling you. Everything in this universe is dealing with manifestation. Illusions, dreams, manifestations, all of that. Get you one of these pads with the recycle on it. Write your shit down. Start writing sentences. Create a name. Get rid of ditch that straw man name. The birth name, that's the slave name. Come into your God name. I'm Lord Yukili Osai Anu Ra. Elohim. Van Kim Akashi. The Nephilim Manifesto. More power, more light, more honor, more love. I kicked this wisdom shit, man. This 333 message right here, this 999. This shit is amplified. I'm I'm I need you to become amplified. Amplify yourself. I'm kicking that real shit. You can get a certain kind of journal. One of them big journals. Get a certain kind of journal. And blood. I'm telling you, you don't have to believe me. This shit is magic. You can just fucking cut yourself. Look, cut yourself, right? Cause these, this is dealing with planets. Cut yourself right here, right? The blood gonna come out, a little bit of blood. Take the blood and write on a piece of paper. Write on a piece of paper what it is that you want and everything that you write in blood is gonna come true. It's going to come. I can make somebody disappear right now by just writing in a journal. I can make somebody disappear right now just by writing in a journal in blood. I can save somebody's life right now by writing in a journal in blood. This is what they're not going to tell you. That's why they said write the vision down and make it plain. 
This is esoteric knowledge. The Bible is filled with esoteric secrets that they took from the Moors, the Moors navigators, who navigated the entire cosmos. I'm a Moor. I'm, I'm navigating you into a higher state of consciousness. Get away from that hocus pocus shit. Astrology is evil bullshit. Magic is evil bullshit. Stop thinking that stupid ass shit. While you thinking that astrology is evil, you dumb. Because you can constantly go out, look up, and constantly see the stars. Constantly see the sun. Constantly see the moon. Astrology literally means knowledge of the stars. If you think that is evil, then your consciousness is evil then. Don't you want to know about the sun? The sun is the, is the, the, the greatest life force on earth. It's the biggest generator on earth. The earth is an outspring from the sun. It's a seed from the sun. It's a child from the sun. Mother earth. You take away the sun, minus the sun, it wouldn't be no earth. It wouldn't be a lot of planets minus the sun. It wouldn't be a lot of planets minus the sun. It is the biggest life generator. It's a life, it's a generate, it's a generator. It's the biggest generator on the planet earth. It gives life. The, the, the sun gives life to everything on earth. Every, every, every entity, every being, in some respects, is benefiting from the rays that come off the UV rays that come off the sun. In some respects, they're benefiting from the UV rays that come off the sun. This is common knowledge. And they're telling you that looking at the sun is evil? Man, your Bible tells you about the sun. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Then that's when Yahshua came and said that he was the only begotten son, the only, I mean, he said that he was the only way, the only truth, and the only light. Light, L-I-G-H-T. And no one can come to the Father, Mother, Father, but by Him, Christ the Lord. It's a Christ consciousness. And it's the port, the way out. I got a video. I found the way out, the portal into the higher dimensions. Watch that video. I talk about the sun. It's the only way out. You ain't getting out no other way. Unless somebody writes you down in their book. Every time, look, these motherfuckers, we keeping their alive. We keeping them alive. When we write down shit. When we write down, when you when you sign a birthday card or a goodwill card, when you go and sign a goodwill card, your note, your, what you write in that goodwill card, that's what's keeping them alive. When you go visit somebody in the hospital, you give them a goodwill card, that's what's keeping them alive. That's what's keeping these motherfuckers alive. I'm talking about the beast. We keeping them alive with our ink. With our ability to create and manifest. Because they don't have a solar plexus. They gave up their solar plexus energy. That's why they say we they lost their soul. They, don't, they, they gave up their solar plexus energy. That's why they ain't made it to the heart chakra. That's why we say that some, some of these entities, they ain't got no heart. They don't got no heart. They can't feel because they ain't even made it past their solar plexus energy. The solar plexus chakra. The fourth chakra is the heart chakra. They ain't even made it past the third chakra yet. That's why they can't feel. That's why they do things... And, and, and I don't think about the consequences. They don't know that, it, that the universe is filled with cosmic balance. A karma. That's a law. It's damn near a fixed law. A cause and effect. There's a, a, a cause and effect to everything in this universe. They don't know. Listen. If you don't make the shift in consciousness. You're doomed. You're doomed. Because there is no more fire element. Yang energy. Coming from the cosmos. The energy now is 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 feminine energy. Start saying mother, father, God. Mother, father, God. Put the mother first. Why did the man come after the woman? It's because look, I told you, at first you had just one finger. When we start coming down in, in human form, we had one finger, then we got two fingers, then we got three fingers, then we got four fingers, then we got the thumb. The thumb is relatively new to the human experience, to the human body. This some new shit. The thumb represents Pilates. This is new. They start cutting the thumb off. They didn't want the thumb to come. Because they didn't want the dominance. The dominance of this thumb. When I read people's palms. When I do palm readings. I look at the structure of a person's thumb. It tells a lot about a person. You can look at a thumb. And tell a lot about their power. Their dominion. All that. In the thumb. That's why Caesar went like this. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Colosseum. When they was battling this shit. When he went like this, 
Let that motherfucker live. When he went like this, kill that motherfucker. That's what the thumb represents. It represents sovereignty. It represents power. That's why you had a certain group of individuals when they was going around capturing slaves, they cut their thumb off. Because back then we knew how to use the planets. We knew how to use the planets. Our fingers is a representation of the planet. Now, you starting to see a lot of beings come back to the planet with the six finger and the six toe. I tell you that the six finger and the six toe is the Anunnaki. That's planet X. They don't want the six finger and the six toe. Listen, I've been doing research and basically I've been getting a lot of information and light codes from, from, my, um, from my spirit guides, which are basically my ancestors, my animal totems, you know what I'm saying? My, um, my, uh, my angels that's assigned to me. And they've been telling me, they've been leading, ancestors been leading me to different information, bodies of information that date back, the six finger and the six toe that date back all the way to, to, to the last century. For the last century, they, it's been beings coming down here with a six finger and a six toe. And the doctor's been convincing the parents, oh, that's a mental illness or that's a, a birth defect. We got to cut off the six finger or we got to cut off the toe. Stop letting these motherfuckers trick you into cutting off the six finger and the six toe. That's a representation of the Anunnaki. That's a new evolution. That's how you know man came after woman. Woman came first. She had five ribs. Then man came. And he had six ribs. Just like you first had one finger. Then you had the one finger represented Jupiter. Then you had the second finger which represents Saturn. Then you had the third finger which represents the sun. Ain't this also... The uh the triad the tri the 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 uh triad uh uh a uh, rod of Neptune's the pitchfork the control of weather or control illusions ain't this also the pitchfork that they use to sacrifice beings to Shiva? Then you got the then as as man continued to evolve, we got the pinky finger, which is Mercury. Then they didn't want Pilates to come in there, but then we got the thumb, which is Pilates. Now as men are continuing to evolve, you're starting to see beings come down with Planet X. The six finger and the six toe. Oprah Winfrey got a six toe. Go to Google.com. Go to YouTube. Put in, oh, does Oprah Winfrey have a six toe? She got a six toe. That's the representation of the Anunnaki, the noble gods that are the sky and earth. Stop letting the doctors convince you to 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 uh to cut off the six the six finger and the six toe of your children. Or look, you're gonna start having a lot of children come back to the planet, they're gonna have a six toe and a six finger. It's important for you to let the six finger and the six toe stay on there. That's the representation of the Anunnaki. Here in this realm. They don't want that. Because the Anunnaki will get in their ass. They, it'll destroy that shit. But they can't stop it. We're here. I'm on Onaki. I'm letting you know what time it is. Activate your Merkaba, man. Start exercising to change the mechanism of your brain. Rewire your shit. So the woman came first and she had five ribs. Then the man came and he had the six ribs. You see how this works? Why would you take a perfect creation and have six ribs and then want to create some other shit? You already got the blueprint of man. So why are you going to put man to sleep and create a, 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 a being that's lesser than the man? No, you got the blueprint of, cre of creation already. So after that, you're just going to continue to perfect on what you already have. So if anything, if the woman came after man, then the woman should have had a seventh rib. That's because the first woman was created with a fifth rib. Then they perfected their shit and made man. And he had the sixth rib. And as beings continue to evolve, you're going to have more ribs than just six ribs. You're going to have seven ribs. Just like we originally had one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. Now we got a thumb. The thumb ain't even considered a finger. Now you are starting to see the six finger because we continue to evolve. The woman came first. That's why we say Mother Nature, Mother Earth. Ain't no Our Father who is in heaven bullshit. 
This ain't no man's world. This is a woman's world. That feminine energy is coming back. That premortal dark energy, that yin energy, that water energy, that nurturing energy is coming back. And water, believe me, is the most strongest element of all. They're the most strongest element of all. Learn your alchemy. Learn your alchemy. That's why I say, man, you motherfuckers can't box me. Y'all don't even know alchemy. You don't know that this shit, that these right here represents certain signs. When you go like, when you stand like this, this represents a certain sign. Fire and water and shit. Fire and water. Certain, the elbows. When you see motherfuckers fighting, bam, 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 bam. All of this shit represents, everything represents something, man. I'm finna do a video called the alchemy and the sacred geometry of the human body. And I'm going to put you up on game about what this shit mean. What this shit mean. So let me know, man. Start using your seven eyes. Use the blue pen. You got blue, black, red, and green. Red is for correction. Red correct shit. When you write in your book of blood, when you write in your book of blood, right? When you write in your book of blood, then when you cut yourself, when you when you start a book of blood, when you cut yourself and you use the ink to write in the book of blood, it's only for correction. You ain't writing to create. You're writing to correct. So when you want to save somebody's life, cut yourself and write in your book of blood. Write in your book of blood. That's going to bring them back to life. Write in your book of blood. That's going to bring them back to life. You write in the, in, the, in the blue pen. You write with the blue ink because blue represents life. Blue represents life. In your, in your body, you have the blood is blue before it becomes airborne. When it becomes airborne, then it's red. When it's still in your veins, it's blue. So you write in blue ink. You write in blue ink. That's the ink that you want to use. The blue ink. When you're creating, when you're manifesting, you write with the blue ink. Contracts are signed with black ink. Corrections are made with red ink. And I haven't figured out what the... I, I mean, you know, I, I think that somehow I, I kind of think that... Somehow I kind of think that the green ink is a representation of the earth element. I somehow... Um, yes. Um, Amanu. Yeah. All right. Um. One moment. I'm just. I'm doing a, a conference. One moment. I'm doing. A, I'm doing a conference. This is how I do my my do my thing. I'm coming out in just a minute. So the green. The green. Um. Listen. The green element is a representation of life. Probably. Is a representation of life. Is a representation of life. So this is what you need to do. I'm coming out in a minute. Let me wrap it up. Give me three minutes. So, the, so the, the green is a representation of life. So you have to use your inks effectively and strategically when you when you're doing your manifestations, manifest manifestations. So be mindful of that. The the seven I M's, the compositions, the thoughts, the exercise which re rewires your brain, the listening to the certain kind of conscious music. The eating right, the thinking healthy, and being in a certain sphere of reality. I'm coming out right now. So with that being said, I love you. Lots of love and light to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm Lord Yukili Osa Nura, broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology, and also on behalf of the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, Hotep, and Tech My Two.